hope you're doing well. If you're watching on YouTube, and catch this live at twitch.tv slash talksmile 2 And if you are watching this on YouTube and you like to see it, maybe leave a like, maybe leave a comment, maybe leave a subscribe. Um, and if you don't like to see it, feel free to leave a dislike and tell me why. Either way, I hope you have a wonderful day. And let's get into this. Sorry I'm running late. Um, lost track of time. Unfortunately. Um, woo. Whew, Alright. Well, let's get the game up and rolling. Switch the music on. Get this running while I quickly. Hello, Nutbell, how are you doing? Like I said, sorry I'm running a little late. Oh, well, that loaded fast. Oh, yeah. Yep. How you doing? You are, in fact, first. I'm doing okay. I'm dealing with my migraine. Alright, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually... it goes here. Boom. Anyway, but I I'm doing okay then. How are you doing? Boom. Eh, I'm fine for the most part. It's just the weather, unfortunately, has been... I mean, it hasn't, but it... But I just had to get everything done and everything, and it just caused... And sometimes the... It, it'll just... Cause me to... Not notice that the time is not what it actually is. That's all. Eh, it's fine. Uh, when I say weather, I, I really do mean just like, um, it's, um, it's not the weather itself, probably. And then we're just gonna bop. Here. There we go. Oh. Hello, Thomas. Uh, how you doing? Sorry. It's not going in or out. I just... I'm trying to formulate my thoughts. Sorry. Mm, pork to pork shop. Or cooked pork chop. Delicious. Sorry. I'm glad you're doing fine. But, yeah, no... All right, that's right. I gotta do the floor too, but I couldn't get the floor. Um, all right, but now it's relatively safe while I do this. Hopefully. Alright, um... But yeah, I'm gonna 
just be working on this to start with just because I, I do want to get my um, ice road probably finished. The one that goes all the way over there just to make things easier on myself. Alright. Because of how far it is? Since this is another, you gotta... I mean, it's not that it's far, far, but it is far enough. That it's not really easy to... to, to The distance is not a fun distance. That's how we're gonna put this. Um, to walk. So we ice boat. Oh, uh, one second, let me. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. How you doing? Thank you for the raid. Um, hi, hello, hello, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. There we go. As you can see, we're starting today off with uh, working on an ice boat road. Due to how far out it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been doing a thing where basically every five subs I switch, I add a new outfit. Um, if you have, if you have enough like uh, redeem points, the the bullets, not not actual like just, just you know redeem points, you can change it for one of the options. This is the new one. I haven't added it to the whole thing yet, but it can still say glitch. But this is my glitched form. Um, it's mostly been just because I didn't want to do something that would be, um, invasive. But, oh yeah, how you doing? There we go. Well, actually, nope, it won't. Okay, good to know. This is my yes. Alrighty, fair enough. I hope you get a good night's sleep, um, or good day's nap. I guess could be the case too. So yeah. Either way, I hope you have a, a good. Let's just keep going. No, it's just straight up for boat. It works on bedrock too. It's like one of the only ways to really kind of get anywhere. Oh, there. Let's see, how far is it left? Like I said, there's quite a bit of distance still left, even from where I'm at. Um, as you can see here. Um, I'm going to go down to blocks a second. Since I'm not terribly far now. Yeah. All right. And I had to go find an ice biome specifically, so you know, I'm in. Um, where 
is it? Is it this one? Okay. Just gotta be a little careful. Don't wanna perish to lava just because I'm digging out my my ice boat. And I should have enough because I I am um, I, I did calculations. Yeah, I knew this is gonna be the case. Alright, um there. There. Here. There, and then I gotta do the other side as well. There we go. There. And just gotta continue filling this in. Honestly, what I could do is I could just do the ceiling. And then all I literally have to do is just kinda drop back down. Um, well, not really out, but still. There we go. Yeah. And obviously the, the, the floor in as well, but... Um, luckily this is easy enough. Alrighty. Um... There we go, and of course, the guy just finished fixing the ceiling. There. But I can show you what I mean after I finish, because if you haven't seen one before. Yeah. But this is how I get to my desert frogs, unfortunately, or my warm frogs, so. Yeah. Although I'm also going to need to set down layers of other things as well, I think, to keep um certain nasties from spawning, but that's not so bad. Speaking of said nasties... Yep. Apparently I've I'm gonna have to, to remove that, but it's... Yeah. And then I just gotta decide what I'm gonna do around it. I think I'll probably do some slabs. Just to make things easier. Um, yeah. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. And just through, and then, um, so what do we want to do for the, the, the slabs that we'll need underneath? I guess maybe we do, um, we could do, like, smooth stone. I'm probably gonna need to put them down too, so it's gonna be annoying, but. Oh. 
or a wood type. Yep, hello Sky, how you doing? I'm actually at the point where I'm finishing up this. Or at the very least, finishing up the part that is... Uh... Just for the basic going one way or the other. Um... Do you know what hoglins are? <laughs> uh, the little beastie boys that just showed up there. Don't get hit by them. <laughs> that's, that's my advice. Um... Oh, that too. Yeah, gold armor. Always have a piece of gold armor. Mine's my chest plate. <laughs> um, I'll put the lights back in a second. Fair enough. Well, I mean... Alright, I can pick up another stack. Well, let's grab a bit of this. Yeah, I'm gonna need to stick down some, um... Yeah, pretty much nothing else has changed. <sighs> Alright. I mean, you can already see kind of the difference between... Yeah, these are for boats. Like I said, I think I need to put down some slabs as well to, to stop the spawning that we can see back there. Um, don't have a crafting table on me, so I'm probably going to need to go do that. But, um, I probably should have just done another ceiling stuff, but... Uh, you can see. We're getting some spawning. But yeah, it's for a boat. Um, I'm gonna get the last of the items really quick. Hi, little guy. There, the last few... Ah, oh, those despawned. Oh, well. But since I actually use another brick in my stuff, I'm just gathering it. I might as well. Because... Hi. I don't think there's anybody else around. Yeah, nobody else around. And if there were, well, they weren't uh, where they could see you. Boom. But yeah, these are for boats. Um... So there is a problem that I go through a, apparently, a red in the forest there, so I, I do need to down some spawning blocks, or... Anybody else here? Nope. Alright, um... I was just trying to decide what I wanted to do about it. Oh wait, I don't know if it's night or not. And I'm at the top. Well, that was lucky. 
Alright, obviously I, I need a lot of ice boats for my transportation of frogs to different biomes and eventually to their, their home to be. Um, and the nether. Um... Yeah. Alrighty. So like I said, I need to decide on what I will do like for the the, the, the the blocks around it. Hello. Boom. I want something dark, so I'm probably gonna do something like birch or something. Alright. No, it works. Do I have any just freed up available? Or, you know what? We're doing this. I know I also use it for my, um... Yep. Well, that's how that works, chickens. Yep. Boom. Alright, um... But I can always make more, because smooth stone's easy, but... Um... Let's just double all this, because I don't want to... And maybe make a boat, too. But yeah, it was for boats. Let's just get a few body booze here. I just saw some drop. Oh. You dropped some iron. Just for my poor pick. Just a little bit. Um. But yeah. Okay, it's gonna be night soon. Uh, let me make a quick boat. Boom. As always, let's admire the most useless item in the game here. At least for me. I mean, it, it might not be useless for you. That's right, they can't make boats, can they? Um, which is a shame. I feel like they should. Oh, luckily we have more wood. We'll go traditional. You know, you gotta love that was their solution for people going, you should make the nether wood boats be able to... to <laughs> survive in lava. <laughs> no, there's no nether boat. But I could have sworn there was. <sighs> oh, that's the heavy core, the item needed for the mace. I braved the trial chamber, got pretty bored in it, and... Uh, yeah, that's some of the loot I got. Or one of the pieces of loot. And maybe it was just the trial chamber I got, but it just was... It's like... I mean, I think it'd be interesting, like, with a lot of people, but it's not very good for single player. And the fact you can shut down the whole thing so easily. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it would have been better, honestly, if they, like I've said before, I, if they, they had it, like, the, the mobs in there, they're unique mobs anyway, so they maybe should have turned off the, at the very least, the, the, um, friendly fire. Alright, does this guy know that I've killed his friend? No, they don't. <laughs> Boom. Alright, and... I'm actually going to start from here. I'm pretty sure 
pretty sure this doesn't affect boats, right? Whereas over here, because I'm actually going over and out, I'll probably just make it so that it slows. Because I'm not, eh, you know, just enough. Looking to... But yeah, the whole point of this is, if we take this... I mean, obviously from here it's slow, but that that's because I... I don't want to go crashing. It's obviously this. Oh, did I? I messed up. How did I mess up? I'm gonna have to fix this entire thing now. One block off. Where am I? Did I somehow manage to... Right, let's pick these back up. Oh! Never mind! Well, that's true. I could do that. I just like to have it as it is. I did twice within a very short period, but this is why. Yeah. All right. And I mean, this is all we can really do, isn't it? Luckily, the problem was easily fixed. Turns out it was just two in a row, so the, the amount of... Sp Probably why I didn't notice. Alright. The problem here is just... I mean... How many blocks I'm gonna need for this? I probably, but and I know I could have done this like too wide, but am I in the wall? <sighs> I probably should have a bit of a rail or something on the one side because it it, it too would be better, but. Uh... Are you turning the wrong stupid thing? Um, don't know. Honestly, I think the thing that will be most convenient is just kind of to. To have some chests on both sides, yeah, but... Uh, yeah. And like I said, I might just want to put in a bit of a rail, but I don't know. On the one side. But I already knew I had to, to fill these in. And I'm out. Yep. There's just so many blocks I need. But it's because of how like long this hallway is. Um... I mean, just just for me running, like from the the one point to the other, so you can see. I think the one thing that's saving me is because technically these chunks are unloaded, and then I basically just zoom through them. Um. 
I should have brought my boat with me so it wouldn't be such a pain on the way back. But, um, I'm not gonna go much further than this. Because it just keeps going. Okay, I get this to work. And going, and, uh, going. Like, every time you think, well, that must be the end, it's it's not. Um, well, that is the end there, but it's a really long tunnel for running both ways. And especially for getting a frog around. Uh, yeah, this is way faster than minecart. Because a, a minecart only goes slightly faster than, like, uh, running, so I'm pretty sure. Whereas, obviously, like, even just doing this is about three times faster than running, if I can get... Yeah, that too. Just the amount of stuff. And for transporting mobs, it's not the best. I mean, the time that is annoying, but it... But yeah, instead, you could just take this. I mean, you saw it's, it's slow, and then you see here, it is... And honestly, if I can keep it just trapped on the ice. Uh, not really. This is... Uh, I'd say efficiency-wise the best way to do it. See? I mean, if I was... And then this is the issue. See, this is where I need to put things down. Because they, they'll appear and I don't really want to deal with them. So I have to put down the blocks to kind of just... Yeah. But other than that, I mean, that's it. I just have to decide on... Maybe I add more different blocks now, but... Um, but for another... Tunnel, that's, that's, that's that one basically done. Probably cook up some smooth stone really quickly. The sun is rising. My timing is so perfect. Um, but yeah, I'm going to probably just quickly do some quick melting up of some smooth stone. The question becomes, how much do I already have in there versus what do I... Let me go check. How much do we have? Um, this is all cobblestone. Oh, this is empty, finally, I guess, other than the this in here, but... Um... 
can refill that, and I can start getting that up and running. Nice. So we'll, we'll get to wrap some lava from the lava farm, and we'll get that started up, and then we'll move the some smooth stone in there. I'll, I'll get like everything running. I'll be back for that in a second. I mean, that'd be faster than the Nether, but my 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 but my my my. my Farm is pretty fast, all things considered. Um, and this should actually be, yeah, this should actually be pretty much done. So I'll, I'll go grab some. Um, actually, I should have some in here. Yeah. And then we can just put some of this in here. There we go, cause yeah, that'll do its thing, and it'll just start getting through. I just had so much cobblestone, I started smelting it up at one point. Then I got my silk touch uh, pickaxe, so it's fine now, but... That should lead to more copper. That's right. So let's just give that a minute. It'll go through and all that, and it'll be good. Um, yeah. But basically, I'm doing all of this to get frog lights for my wall. They're necessary part of it. Um, yeah. I specifically want the pearlescent ones. I have to double check which ones I need for that, but I do want a bit of all of them just because I feel like they'd look good in all the different areas. So like in the, the rebel base here, right, the underground, we're going to probably have, start using, I mean, right now I'm just using this, but I'd probably start using more um, of the ochre, I think is the one, frog lights, because I think the yellow would look really good, but I think that the, um, as a kind of industrial look, but the, um, the glowstone is a little too harsh of a texture, so. I mean, I also, of course, could use the uh, shroom light, but not exactly what I'm looking for for that. Um, like, for example, I'd probably switch this out with, like, on uh, in the middle here, having the lights to kind of just be kind of industrially. I am the difference between this. All right. I just can't remember, did I have any... I did, actually. Yeah, we'll put this in here. For now, I guess. Feel the difference in spawner farms. Ugh. Between Java and Bedrock. Ugh. To some extent. Mm. Anyway, um, like I said, we're just letting this go. This should almost be done. Okay, it's half done. In the meantime, I can use something else as well. I guess. I'm. I'm not against doing that.
Um... Like another color as well. Like I said, we could do some birch as well. I just did the, the smooth stone because it was easy. And I have a lot of stone. I mean, yeah, a lot of it's cobblestone, but that's not hard to make into stone and another, right? I mean, and these are both mostly just regular stone. Um, actually, I just saw some things that aren't supposed to be in there. These don't go there. I don't remember that there. Uh, okay, I have copper in there. I have coal too, but I'm just not gonna deal with it right now. Alright, um... I'm not gonna go for the food right now. It's good to have that backlog though for when I do need it. But right now I have a bunch of pork chops from killing Poglins, so... And I'd rather not waste that. Uh, basically. Uh, 22. But yeah, I'm curious. Like, what would you guys rather see as the... For most of the middle part? Would you rather I just not bother waiting and kind of just move on to a different color? Or do we wait for the the smooth stone to, to finish going? And I could do some other things in the meantime. Um. Smooth. All right. Um. Well, I'm going to gather all of this then, because I, uh, as you can see here, have things to do. Let's try to remember, can I make the fences out of the blocks? If I can, I'm just going to probably make these all into blocks. Make my life easier. Uh, nope. The fence requires a different recipe, so... I don't need the fence right now, but you never know for the future. Um... Here's what we'll do. We'll make... this be like this, and then we'll have one and a half stacks of the blocks, and then we'll have some of the... Like that. All right, and then I need to gather up some of the copper so that we can make copper blocks. Uh, yeah, I'm not growing any mangrove. I don't think I have any. Uh, for now, this can go over here because, uh, you know, having a little bit would not be bad. It's a pain to use and all that, but it is what it is. Um, mm. yeah, yeah, basically. the proper mob cap. Um. Yeah. All right. Go pick these back up. We'll make some more copper blocks. Because we're just going to make a ton of copper blocks as well. Because, I mean, I do need to finish my building over there. 
You can see it's not done. Um, at some point, I need to finish it at least. Um, where are we at? Yeah, I knew it. We're at the point where we're actually getting the, the one. Um, uh, I don't know I have torches in there. Right. Um, they don't have to stay. But see, we're getting the smith done now, so it's not too long before we start doing that. And it wasn't, there wasn't that much left. Um, and the copper should be through the first sack at least. Yeah. Hello, Pack Attack. How you doing? Uh, no. They don't. That's why a lot of people use them for mining for ancient debris. Explosives don't blow it up. Uh, think of it being more like obsidian. I'm doing okay. A wee bit of my grandma. but it's the it's getting towards the end of it. I think hopefully by next week I'll be doing a lot better. Um, it's just how it goes. Blither. I'm glad to hear you're doing all right. We're just gathering some smooth stone so that we can lay it down as um, blocks in the nether. Not these. These also need this as well. That's why I gotta make a whole lot of it and start just working towards that. But it. Mm. All right. Um. Honestly, it's one of those things that makes me wish they did have a, a, a smelt enchant, you know? Let's put this up here instead, uh, here instead, so that that's... I need better organization. Um... I'm just trying to see if I have any smithstone left. I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't. Um, I just gotta wait a minute. Um... Heal up my pickaxe. Boom. Um, yeah. Oh, buddies. All right. Did I just see a pair of boots? I did. Uh, do I have any boots to repair this one with? Yeah. There we go. Boom, boom. Die. Um, I don't know why I'm saving all this summer, honestly, but I'll probably use it at some point. Um... Here, I'll add this one to this one. It's easier to just do it that way. Alright, um, and then let's let that stock up again. 
All right, where are we at? All right, all right. Um. <sighs> you know, I think about why do I have string in here? String shouldn't. Uh, how do I have string in there? I probably just dumped it in there at some point when it was a regular chest, but it doesn't belong in there. Not that it belongs over here either, but it we we have things that we can places we can dump it. Ish. There. Um I need to just, I need to organize again. It's been a while and I just I haven't organized. I never do. But it's mostly because it's just like... It's, it's not really a simple thing to do, you know? I, I feel like I'd be far more likely to do so if I... had an easier ability to do so. And I know I could do it. I'm just lazy. I'm not going to deny that. Oh, crap, I broke loose. Uh, yeah. Because I'm Definitely picking up the leaves, see, because this is a silk touch axe. Um All right. And this one, and then I could just break the bottom ones and put there. Like I said, we're just going to do some other chores while we wait for that to, uh, finish. Alright. There we go. Do I not have room anymore? Okay. Oh, lovely. Uh, the mace is a unique type of weapon. I personally don't care for it, and it's not really something that would really work for me. Kind of thing. As well as I've said, it is the most... Uh, as far as I'm concerned. And that's why I'm specifying as far as I'm concerned. I mean, obviously I'm not like everybody, you know? It could be those that prefer it. But, I just don't f personally feel that it's terribly useful. Because of how, like, it, 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 it's, especially on Java, it's pretty nerfed by its very nature. And then it's extra nerfed because, you know, they're like, oh, it's too powerful because you, you can land on something and it can just immediately do, but except for all the things like how high up you have to be and all that. It's just... Yeah. Like, I don't... I... It's just not my thing. And for the amount of work it requires to get it and all that, I just don't feel like it's a worthwhile mm, treasure to gain. I feel like just for... All the nonsense you have to do with the trial chambers, how many of them you often will have to go to, I'm lucky. I mean, I got pretty lucky because it was in the first one. The last uh, one I checked, but that wasn't even what I wanted. Ironically, I mean... Uh... I mean, I, I was like, you know, I mean, if I have it, I'm just going to dump it on the shelf and that's going to be that. It's never going to get used. And true to my word, it is. I'll probably move what shelf it's on, but yeah. 
But it, I mean, it has a unique recipe instead of... Because that's what the breeze rod is for, is to make the mace as well. Um, it's, it's primary. Or their use would actually be to just shoot you up in the air, probably, but... Um, the reason it's a breeze rod and not, like, what it was started off as, which was the wind burst, is so that you can make a mace with it. But the mace, like I said, basically the way it works is you have to be up in the air... And you have to, while you have it in your hand, because it has a, it's it's still about two seconds of before you can actually use it at um, to full power for whatever falling height you have. Um, basically, I mean. As I've said, it's probably good for a multiplayer world. It's just... I'm not on multiplayer. I'm on single player. And... So yeah, I, I personally, for myself playing, do not find it very useful. Music gets stuck. <sighs> we'll see. I don't know if the moose... Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it did just get stuck. Alright, um, but yeah. But the idea is you have to go up in the air and then you, you accumulate damage, right? And you attack it. Otherwise, though, it's... And you have to hope that the mob is still there when you get there, you know? You got all those things as well. It's not... Not my thing. It's just a new weapon type that I'm... Probably. I mean, the real answer is I don't want to make it really better than the, the diamond sword, which I feel like kind of goes against the whole point that this would be effectively... I'm sure they feel like, oh no, no, it's mid-game, but for the amount of trouble you have to go through, this is end-game loot to get. And then, yeah. Because otherwise, why are you wasting your time getting it? You can get other things. Um, again, like I said, for the amount of just work it takes. So... That's kind of where I go with it's like, yeah, once you, you've hit a certain point, it's pretty good, you know? Probably on a server, it's pretty, pretty nice to have. I mean, I mean, to get it, it's easy enough to get it, but anyway, I don't want to just go into it too much because I, I know that, you know, I mean, there's people who like the mace, and uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I just don't personally feel that it's. All that amazing. Right. And I've said, if you disagree with me, that's totally fine. And tell me I'm crazy. We're open for discussion here. That's totally okay. Um... Yeah. But... And I mean, considering also the fact you can't really use... You can't use it while you're wearing an elytra and all that. It's just... it's. It feels like they really... I, mean, yeah, I, I get their whole idea was, well... Either you succeed or you, f you die, right? It, but it's just... It's like... Mm. It's okay. It's not going to be remembered long term. And that, that's what I really feel like about it, is it just isn't going to be a long term um, anything. And I hope I'm 
proven wrong. You know, I mean, that'd be lovely. I'd rather be proven wrong than being proven right on things like that. Because I like the game. But, uh, yeah. But, I mean, that's that's part of why I just go, it's, it's full of stuff. I don't think it has to be full of stuff. I think it's better to have it be something that's overall useful. Well, maybe not useful. Game-changing? Yes, that's why we're doing this. Because, you know, that's the, 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 the frog eating magma cubes is better than the frog eating uh, fireflies. For some reason, in there, the the the, 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 the. All right, so this is to here now. It's not too bad. I mean, it's still a long way off. Um, do I have my boat on me? Yeah, we are boating back because I. It's, I mean, it's not far, but it's far enough. N no, it's not the implication, no. They eat slimes and magma cubes. But either way, I mean... It's again basically just your... I, I still find this ironic, as I've said. You're just... Supposed to be uh, putting the animals in situations they would not be happy in. Because killing is bad. <laughs> Instead of torturing them, their whole life is better. And I will continue going there because I just think it's so ironic. But, I mean... I suppose that's what happens when you're... Well, you know. Right. How are we doing over here? Oh, these stopped. Where's this at? That's... Probably could use more. Alright, let me get some more lava. Take that. Um, but yeah, if, if you think of it as if you think of it as well, they're they're just throwing them up. It becomes kind of like ten times worse, in my opinion, ironically, because then it's like so you're putting them in a situation. You would be putting them in a situation in which they're eating something that's so harmful to them that they throw it up. But you should continue to do so because. It's better than killing them. <laughs> um, instead, constantly torturing them. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Uh, and you know they don't see it, you know? They're like, but this is better. You're not hurting them. It's like, mm, yeah, you're, you're not. Well, I mean, you're not killing them.
hair pill. Yeah, I mean, basically, yeah. It's like it'd be, be forcing your cat to have constant hair pills constantly. Exactly. That would be what it would be with the frogs. Whether the frog, whether, whether the animal wants it or not, it's continuously going to... And the thing is, because it doesn't cause any damage to them, they will constantly have to do it with no escape. They can't even die to get away. Now, is it going to stop me from doing this? No. Because I... I want the lights, but it, it's just the irony more than anything else to me. Like I said, that there's just like... Eh. Else we get in. Where did I get the trident? I think I it might be. Did I get it while I was out and about? Because I must have. Um. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as they eat it, they it. It comes right back out. But like I said, it's just it, 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 it's the irony is what really gets me more than anything. Just make some more copper blocks while we wait. This is so expensive for what's effectively not anything useful for anything other than decoration. <sighs> but you know. Maybe. Who knows? We're just gonna let this thing a second. And then we're gonna gather up some more and we're gonna do some more. Woo! Honestly, it should be starting to get towards the end of some of these so that I can kind of start moving towards the next thing. Like I said, the copper is effectively there. This is gonna be a long time, but it's constant stone. Which is good. <sighs> Who knows? Point being, it, it's it's basically just no matter how you look at it, you force the animal to eat something that is harmful to it. And then it, it can't die because, you know, it's magic. Which is obviously the real reason why most animals, if they see you, will try to literally jump off a cliff. Clearly. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, but, yeah. Like I said, just the irony. The irony of it all. But still, like like I said, I'd really love to see just mm, when I've said they I think there's all kinds of things I think would be cool, but I don't think they'll do any of it because A 
oh, there's a mod that does it already, or B, it's just too complicated. It's too much work for them. Um, or more likely C, it doesn't have a structure, so therefore it's no good. I, I really feel like that's the biggest thing, like, in these recent updates especially, like, it has to have a structure added. Which is odd. Like, you don't have to add a structure to an update. I feel like that's, like, the, the biggest thing. It's like... Yeah, llamas do. Yep. Exactly. Um... But honestly, you know what? That's what I really hope, is that the next update either has minimal or, or no structures added. Updated, maybe, but I don't think they, they should add from scratch. Because, I mean, clearly that's what takes so much. Like, when you look at how much they do, I mean, it takes a lot of time to do. And oftentimes it's just a big empty thing. It's not really worth it. It just looks kind of cool for a while. Like, you can travel. But... Ironically, having a better, like, a more mixed amount of biomes is better, because you're going to see the biomes, you're not going to, unless you're, like, you're not going to really see most of these structures unless you go out of your way to go find them. It's even harder on Bedrock than it is on Java, but, um, and vice versa as well, for how you would want to do it, um, but beyond anything, it's just, like, the fact that you have to go out of your... Like, and, and, and this is the kind of thing where I'm like... I, I, I do think that some back... Like, more... Yeah. Like I said, I think that the biggest thing is I'd rather see... The less structure stuff. I mean, it's cool. For a while. Do I think that they will? Get out of the... Or avoid the structures? No. No, I don't. Do I think they're absolutely going to, like, just do, like, one structure next time, and then that's pretty much it out of sight of, like, a few extra blocks? Probably. I mean, that's that whole thing of just... I, again, it's not necessarily being lazy. It's over-obsessing, overthinking on something that doesn't really need it. Unless you fix other things first, such as other structures. Um, yeah. And like I've said, you can tell me I'm wrong or that I'm crazy. That's totally A-OK. -okay. Discussion is acceptable. I mean, we can all have different opinions on something like this. I just honestly do think that it's I'm trying to think of how to put this. Um, basically, if you, 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 I seem to say, well, I meant more along the lines of just like, I don't know what I'm talking about. I've obviously missed something, which is fine to tell me. I mean, uh, I'm not against that. Um, being told that. It's just... I don't know. I suppose to some extent it feels kind of pointless. Which, uh, maybe isn't the kindest thing to say, but, like,
For the amount of focus they get, and the, the amount of time they'll be spent in there is pretty little. So basically little to no time at all. Whereas if they had, were to dedicate, or were to have an update that doesn't focus on structures at all, or updating structures that you are definitely going to go into, um, I, I think that would be just a better, in general, long term. I mean, obviously then you'll be remembered more for the bad as well, but at the same time, I mean... Nobody talks about the structures, really. I mean, yes, people kind of mention the ancient city, but only when they're going there. Um, once they've, they've gotten all the things that they need out of it, they don't really go back. Or even really think about it again. Trial Chambers is going to be the same way. Um, when's the last time you heard somebody talk about a trail ruin? I was 1.20. That's kind of where I go with it. They dedicated quite a bit of time into all three of these structures. Heck. Trial Chambers is... <laughs> I see. Well, I'm, I'm just being... I, I'm trying to formulate my words as best I can. As... Oh, there is for me. Um, but, yeah, I, I honestly... <sighs> like, and I mean, I, I think some of the things in the updates are cool, like, but it's... For some of them least important parts of the update they focus a lot on it right that's i think that's my point yes you go to the structure but at most trial chamber wise you're going to maybe go through four or five if you go through more than that it's because you're getting really bad luck with mace or getting heavy cores or whatever loot you're trying to get this is not going to be something where you're going to be focusing on how amazing the structure and stuff is it looks cool in snapshots to be like able to see something, but overall as an update, it's not really going to change anything unless they, they're really going to change things. And the things in question are things that I don't think even work anywhere outside of Trial Chambers. Like, they're, 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 they're just finding the vault for what it is. As going, oh, they're going to add it to other structures, but it's like, but then how would you even do that? You're not going to want people to go to a trial chamber just to get keys to go to a vault in any other structure. That would make no sense. And adding these types of things to these other structures also does not make sense. Due to the nature of them. You're not going to add a... And if you are going to add a spawner to that literally takes eight minutes to destroy um in every structure then it basically means well nobody's ever going to be really using the structure like that again for anything other than its quote-unquote intended purpose but then it doesn't that go against the nature of a um how do i put this does it go that against the nature of a sandbox game I don't know. Um, and if they don't want it to be a sandbox game, then... Well, I mean, at this point, with this version, at this point of the game, right? I'm not going to say at the beginning. It, it was kind of a different game, but it still was pretty sandboxy. But the question becomes, then why are you working on a game like Minecraft? That is effectively one big sandbox at this point. I'm not gonna say that it always has been, mind you, because obviously it hasn't. 
I started more as a survival game. And I'm not this 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 bleh. I and I'm totally willing to acknowledge that. Although it still was pretty sandboxy, but that was just because of how early on the game was effectively released. But when you add more and more things for building and doing things like that, it takes away from that other nature. They don't... And I'll go here, whether I, I like those things or not, the fact is, if they're not willing to add in super scary mobs, right? Or there mobs that will actually do any real harm or damage or anything overall, then... And even if they do, well, the whole idea is that you're not supposed to kill it. That just feels like that goes against the nature of a game like this. So I, I feel like instead of focusing on, like, structures or... Um, items... If... If they want to have more to it, they can add more. And again, like I said, I'm saying this as someone who doesn't like that kind of thing. Mind you. Just to make this clear. They can add... I probably should add some more dangerous mobs. Whether it be as boss encounters or... They <sighs> suck. Ah, Minecraft. And I don't think... I, I just... think the idea that the only, like, really... difficult mob they've added... Cause the breeze! I mean, I'm sorry, that thing was a breeze to kill. No pun intended. Um, or maybe some pun intended, but... It really was. Um, the bogged, I haven't had a chance to come across, but considering it shoots more like the stray, and I mean, strays are. I mean, they're a lot easier to avoid than skeletons. And yes, it's poison arrows, but then they don't even spawn often, and you have all these other things. It's like. That would have been the more dangerous mob, but they didn't really add it in a very significant... Yes, you can find it in the swamp. Let me be quick. Yes, you can find it in the swamp, but... Um... There is, it's a much rarer mob, is the idea, and, I mean... It's still not that hard to avoid, it's anything. You, you can get away really easy. And kill it easy. Because poison only feels... And, and I'll go here as well. Poison only really feels scary because you're not prepped for it. But like if you, you were even like slightly... Then, I mean... Yeah. Like, if, if you go in knowing this mob causes you to be poison, and that the, no matter what, when they shoot you, it's gonna be poison. That shock of, oh goodness, I've been poisoned, kind of goes away. Um. So, it's not really dangerous. It just seems like it should be dangerous. And like I said, I don't like that kind of thing, but I do feel like if they want more of these sorts of things, they should actually, well, just do it.
Give me a second, I gotta... Boop. Anyway. <clears throat> but yeah, that, that, that's my opinion, and I, I think that's where we're gonna end that. I'm just... That's how I, I honestly do feel. And I'm not saying it just to be negative, it just... <sighs> yeah. Let me see which block is this that I'm looking at. Coming out of here, this one. Okay. There we go. I'll probably expand this up as well to some extent. Um, otherwise, this is a little dangerous. Um, I know the gas can spawn. I'll probably just put down some slabs and make that a little bit less um, clunky. Is it night? Oh, it is basically night. Um, uh, I mean, Decepticons, if you're gonna go there, I think it depends on which Decepticon are you talking about? Like, and which version, honestly? As campy as they are, I, I definitely prefer the the, ori like, the original ones, right? The more goofy, the whole... Because honestly, with them, they really do mean it, you know what I mean? Like, the current stuff, it's like, no, they're really just deceiving you all that. Like, if you look back at, like, the more kind of campy, the, the whole the original... Transformer series they roll out, uh, uh, the Transformers robots in disguise. Like if they said they were gonna, they, 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 they'll try, you know. I mean, because it will be for their own gain, but like they will do it, you know. They just aren't very good at it. <laughs> I'll get uh, caught before that point, but like, but yeah, I mean, now it really would be just. But you're gonna die if I don't. Mm hmm. I don't know. I mean, you could disagree with me. I, I just feel like that, that kind of was the vibe I got. You know what? We're just gonna toss this straight in. Okay, we are finally at the point where we are out. <laughs> I mean, Starscream... He's loyal to a fault. That's the thing. He, he wants to be in charge, certainly, but he... Uh, uh, as long as he's not gonna get, as long as you know how to handle him, if you look at it, he, he really is also oftentimes the most loyal, weirdly enough. Like, yes, he wants to be leader. But, 
He's also the one that, it, even if he's offered a leadership position, he's not going to um, join the Autobot side. You know? he He's like, I am truly a Decepticon, and only a Decepticon. So, you know, I mean, if you think about it, ironically, like... Yeah. Again, you can disagree with me. That's totally fine. I'm just saying. It's interesting. If you think about it, because he... You would think that he'd be the one that would be, like, immediately willing to just kind of go off. And, but the few times that he does temporarily, like, over the, the many series and years and stuff... It's literally after a situation where he's fully and truly been thrown away. And even then, he, he he's like, we'll end up going back to the Decepticons and going, nah, this is what I am. So it's just an interesting thing to think about. That's character. Um, again, you could disagree, it's fine. You know? But that's his place, even if he'll never actually be in control or anything. And honestly, that's something I, I do appreciate about... The character. Although he's not my favorite character, obviously. I, I, I like the, the, the original sound wave. He was cool. And I think it's a shame that they gave his thing basically over to <laughs> Bumblebee for the whole Transformers thing. Anyway. Uh, but beyond that, I mean, again, it's fine. Let me think. I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the nether, do this again. We just gotta keep going until eventually we have enough filled. I don't know how long I'm gonna have to, how much I have to do, but it's a lot. Um... Probably ride the boat. I'm not sure how far I've even made it. Um, no, Soundwave, uh, he used tapes and like the radio and stuff. This whole thing was because he's a boombox. He had his no, he did not have his own voice originally. I mean, now they just have him repeat, but like he would repeat as well, but. That was the whole thing with him. Is he, he was a boombox. He he could record. He could uh, he could use like different things to try and get his point across. And then they kind of just, which I mean, made sense. It's kind of. And then now I mean they don't really do. They just have him just repeat da da da, very robotic kind of way. Though, I mean, before he'd just be like, mm. yeah, I mean, you, you, you got, I, I don't know. Like, but no, he did not actually talk normal because he did not have a voice box of his own. No, the, the, the boom box was, I don't know. And then he had his three tapes that were his three, um, thing, the, his three stooges, if you will. Or was it only two? It was either two or three. I can't remember which. I'm only remembering two of them for what they were, but 
I swear it was three. The heat sent them out. There was a bird. There was a dog. And I feel like there was one other. I don't remember it right now. Streamer brain and all that, but... Yeah. That was the thing. Um... Again, like I said, going back to OG. Or rather, at least OG cartoon. And uh, Megatron was a gun. <laughs> he said how that worked, but it was. Yeah, later he got turned into, but originally. But he was like the only one that had also like the whole like the three minions kind of thing that he could send out as his scouts to that extent because it was like uh, all the others were and then obviously later on they did things at the mini cons and stuff but um no it's just a different series but it still was a transformer series oh shockwave sorry i said soundwave shockwave that's it <sighs> i told you i'm tired I swear it was Soundwave. Well, no, I mean, that's, that's who he turned into, I guess. The point being... Yeah. I'm tired. But yeah, no, he was my... He's the one I thought was cool. Because this whole thing is just... <laughs> and then they, they basically just used it for... Other characters, and then they did bring him back, and they had him repeat stuff, but it just wasn't the same. I don't know. Nostalgia bait. Oh, yeah, Shockwave's gun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was like, I so see, I was right, so. But yeah, I mean, you had a lot of the kind of thing where the Decepticons, I, I mean, they later had a lot of the more, like, but pretty much at the start with a lot of them were not actually, like, aircraft, which they did later kind of have more, but you had more, you had, like, where the Autobots really were, like, all cars, the, the, the Decepticons could be basically anything. <laughs> like... What do you think about it? Technically, they were more, um... They, they had the ability to get more done. And then, legit, just... And then basically, the, the, the only reason they did not really succeed is because Autobots really had the help of the of several humans, you know? To be able to go, ah, that's the blah blah blah. But, and then obviously that was all, I mean, it was obviously also, I say obviously, but it's not necessarily, you know. I was saying for the most part, I'm trying to think through, and I don't remember. I, I was just, because obviously they did add more later on, but from what I was talking about was just the start of the show. And I probably do, but again, I'm not, like, thinking through. And I thought the Autobots were cool. I, I still think they're cool. I mean... The yeah, assumption that I remember everything is after every series too, because I, I I mostly remember things from a couple of different series, but not everything. Mm 
But my, my point was more along the lines of initially. I mean, obviously, they also added aircraft Autobots later on, too. And the like. They just started with... Um, yeah. Autobots were basically all cars, and the Decepticons were random junk. Well, not really random junk, but just, like, what was picked up. Because obviously, like, Starscream was a plane still, but, um... Yeah. My, my point... <sighs> anyway, like I said, I don't, I, I don't really remember everything. I remember a lot of stuff. And that's why I've said, different thoughts, different opinions, and different, you can tell me I'm wrong. Also, I don't remember Blaster, like I, like I said, I, I'm, I'm literally just talking about the beginning of the, the series. I don't remember Blaster being there. As you... Yep, 12 cards in a trip. Yep. That was exactly how it went. And then you had the Decepticons being like, you had a minigun, you had a, um, <laughs> you had a boombox, you had, you had Starscream who was a plane, I mean, you had a few other planes and stuff, but I was more referring to, it's like, they had more, um, they would have had a much better chance of getting, anyway, it, it's fine. Anyway, yeah. And I'm not, like, trying to disparage or anything like that. Like I said, I'm just literally saying what I remember. Um, well, it's 2 in the morning, and I'm streaming, and I have a migraine. And that's what I say. You can tell me I'm wrong. I mean... Alright. Um... Um... Yeah. This should clear out some of the chickens. Well, that was a baby chicken sound, but it's not. Now it's all baby chickens. Hey, wait, is there an adult still in there? I think there is. Hello. Is there a sneaky adult? There is. <laughs> Now, nah, there we go. There we go. Boom, ba -doom. But yeah. Anyway, um, sorry. <sighs> yeah, he is. There's been several situations in which Starscream should have died and which he didn't. Um. And he even gets acknowledged in the uh, several different shows. Where they're like, he, he should have died. And then he just ignores it. Um... I'm gonna go get more lava. You know, we'll let... I mean, Beast Wars is more... I mean, there's that too, yes. I... Because they, they had him existing then, right? Or something like that? I... Sort of remember, but I was not as into that one. Uh, 
Um. I think, right? I don't know actually with that one because I never really was. Um, I didn't really follow that one just just because I feel like. I mean, I know technically there was one earlier on, but... I, I was more into the OG, like, just the, the, the OG, and occasionally the mini, um, bot stuff, because it's kind of just on. Um, so you're, you're gonna have to forgive me for not remembering exactly how that hat worked. Like, I remember what I do from what I like, but I, I just, I never really got into that one. I know it existed. There's a comic, and there's also a show. That was more my brother's thing than mine. But that's really what I remember of it, other than that there was, like... Yeah. Made the whole thing with, like, the Dinoboss become more confusing stuff, too. Just, I remember that. But. Yeah. Huh. Like I said, I, you'll have to forgive me for not remembering. Um... I see. I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Honestly, you have more faith than I am, I can already tell. products such as that. Everything else? No. Anyway, as I've said, I, I, I do like Transformers and stuff, but I, I wasn't... No, I haven't seen that one. I kind of stopped watching the movies after two, because I just was like, it just isn't um, honestly, the first one kind of bugged me, too, because I, um, I mean, there wasn't, uh, I'm pretty sure there was a movie in the original series, but he wouldn't really like the character in the other, in the, the movies and all that, and I just, I, there were other things as well, I was just, like, wasn't interested Um, at that point in time, I thought they, I, I, I thought, like, like I said, I, I thought Transformers were nice and all that, but, um, it was cool, but it, honestly... It just didn't end up being my thing anymore, and I kept kind of being less and less like what it. Is. I remember, and I kind of just 
moved on to other things. And I, I had already started watching and reading other things like manga and stuff, but an anime. Um, I mean, that doesn't really say a whole lot. You know? And like I said, I'd already kind of just moved on. I just, I had other things I wanted to dedicate my time to, and I just was like, eh, okay, yeah, it's, it's here. There's a thing. Anyway, like, like I said... It's fine to like it. Like, I'm not, like, I am not judging. Let me be clear. It just isn't my thing, and it hasn't been my thing for a pretty long time. Anymore. Um. Um, I'm trying to think, what was, was I reading at that time instead? Um. Hmm. It's, it's been a long time. I think I was reading Black Cat and like the, those, again. Mind you, I'd already read it before, but when that one was coming out, I was just like, yeah, eh, I guess it's a thing. Yeah. I honestly, I had kind of stopped going to movies at that point as well, so. Um, because I just didn't, a lot of them just were not my thing. Um, I still went to a few, but. Um, yeah. Let's see, how much further do we have? Far... I'm gonna need like three more stacks at least. Let me see, can I actually... Or not. I was gonna see, can I... I, I think I can get out, but I was just trying to see. Um, alright. There we go, we've got that like that. Hmm. Uh, I just need more blocks now. Um... Yeah. I don't even remember. Like I said, I, I think at that time I was just lasting through, like, Detective Conan or something. But, um, yeah. Uh, honestly, like I said, that was the big thing. Is I, I honestly... Uh, bleh. I, I haven't been to the movies really much since then. A little bit before that. I, other than, like, two or three times, so I, I wouldn't have gotten seen it anyway. Um. Yeah. Any hoozle. Back to just, um... Working on tunnel of frustration. Hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll have a...
Let me see. I mean, everything is going. Copper is done. This can just go now. So this will be doubly as fast as it was. Which is good. It's good. Yeah. Honestly, for me, it's just, it ended up being, it's just so often, like... <sighs> ends up being where I'm just going, eh. I mean... It's there. Certainly. But yeah, I just very rarely am even interested anymore, so... And considering how often these nowadays, they'll just... They'll pull out a sequel or they'll pull out a... A reboot or whatever, and they just... It's... Mm, it's just no good. I, I just, I don't, yeah. I don't even bother with it anymore. At all. Maybe I should, but I don't know. Is the whole fool me once, shame on you. Continue to fool me, and um, no, not happening. You know. Just remove the tree. And I can just climb up. Like so. These have to go because this is eventually going to be more city. It's just going to become slightly less and less. Um. Put together as it goes on but i have to actually remove them so that they aren't here so i'm just kind of doing this as well because i'm waiting on the stone and this will just work for me plus i need the blocks for the building of the buildings so it works i think this one's gone and had everything removed but that looks like it could Alright, let me see. Did I remove everything I needed to remove for that trait? Yes. I mean, I know there's a forest here, but it's just, it's like, nothing spawns in this forest anyway, half the time. Um, there's no real point in this thing being here. As it is. There's like... Two chickens, these two chickens, and this dog. That isn't even the new type of dog, it's the, uh... Everybody... It's, it's the pre-1.20.5. Come here. We'll tame you. Thank you. Like, you're the last wolf of this forest. Uh, what do you mean? What is this court considered? Uh... For what?
Sleep tight, sleep tight, sleep tight. Yes. Take that sucker. Hello, buddy. Oh, you're, you're so cute. You go with all the other dogs now. Um, I would say it's technically a form of social media, but more in the lines of, like, um, if I had to guess, or say, like, uh, a messaging app. I mean, it's, it's, I would say it's like a mix between Twitter and potentially something like Skype. Depending. But, I mean, it's not. It's depending on how you use it, you know? Uh, I do have some leather in here, so I can put that in there. I've literally tamed the last dog, so there's that as well. Hmm. Yeah. I'd say I should probably move those blocks here. Whether I'm planning to use them or not, over there, just because that's where I'm keeping all the blocks that kind of will go into that, and I want to be able to find. So... Yeah. I have more of this than I thought I did. Anyway, I think that's what I would say. It can be used as social media, it can be used as a messaging app, it can be used as pretty much anything. Depending on how dedicated you are to it. Oof. Alright, because we just want this all to just cook. There we go. I mean, mind you, their flames are probably getting lower. Oh, not that low. Well. well, this one is, but... Yeah. There we go. So, that'll just keep cooking that up and bringing that out. And then we'll have... That... I'm not planning on doing a TNT cannon. I'm planning on probably making a creeper farm in one of these buildings. Um, probably a little bit further away, because this is the, the mob farm, mind you, but or the spawner farm, but I'd like to do a creeper farm. Because it's useful. For me. It's a whole. I mean, I can TNT can is cool. I just don't have much cheese for one. My cat is fussing over something. I don't know what though. I should probably go find out. Yep, I probably should go find out. I'll go find out in a second. Um, I'll get to the other first. Alright, I will be right back. He's just insane.
<laughs> he, as I went to go see what was wrong, he runs up to the door to yell at me. Cat, what are you doing? New. No. No. Scooch. Uh. <sighs> when I say he, he, he just does. Yeah, he's loud. He's 90% harmless, but he is... Oh, crap. I'm so far away. Um... This isn't good. I'm not in the... Um... I can't... Alright, one second. I need to log out and log back in. What are you doing? Oh, it crashed. <laughs> well, good to know. I'm gonna get it back up and running. I mind you, I just the the game crashed. Yeah. Um, there are landlines here and there in Florida, yeah. All right. Before it crashes again. Now it should load as it should. Oh dear, there. There it goes. I was about to be like, oh, don't tell me it's not going to show. Alright, um... <clears throat> Honestly, this is bizarre. I mean, you can see where the arrows are, but the boat was beneath me. But it was super strange. I'm not sure why it's behaving in that manner. Maybe it's because I have technically got these, but at the same time, it doesn't feel like it would be that. <sighs> you know what? I should just slap. Yeah. Um, I mean... There's nothing that's... I mean, certainly in certain areas, I guess you could say that, but it's not everywhere. That it's like that. What? There you go. Thank you, game. But, no, I mean, you, you get normal landlines and you, know, you get other things. I mean, depending on where you live in Florida, you might even have fiber optic, but... Like, unfortunately... Like, was it, yeah, I don't think most people use landlines here. If I'm being totally, totally honest. Um, 
It's more convenient to just have a cell phone. Alright, let's see how does it feel far? It feels so far. But not that far. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna check to see if it's night and then I'll sleep. If it is, it's not. Uh, we have frogs here. I left. Or frog. Oh, there's a frog. I was gonna be where's my other froggy? Here you are, buddy. No, you guys don't go in there. You you, you hang out over here. I mean, that you, you get those smart flip phones, I guess. But Can I get out of this? Yes. Not, not sure why... I mean, I don't have one, but... I have a regular phone. I'm not gonna steal a villager bed. I mean, I think my mom had one. But, I mean, you don't really get that here. I mean, and like I said, it's it's not... I mean, yeah, you could say, well, we have a lot of um, older individuals. And they're typically... Those, they're usually snowbirds, but... Um, <laughs> um and we also get a lot of tourists, and we get a lot of uh, anything else as well, it's just... Not sure what to say. I have fifty four. All right, how much more do I need? Uh, the fire is still basically high. I'm just trying to think, like, what... Yeah. Um... It's probably down there. It will eventually get revealed, but you know. Uh, uh, I just need these to continue so that we can finish our project for today, which is to finish that nether road and making sure it's safe. Honestly. Um. No. I'm a Florida lizard. We we don't want our. We, we, it's too cold. Just 
to do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's a cave down there. I need to notice this. Do I have any lights on me? New. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it'll have to go because it'll be smushed, but. Yeah. I'm just kind of getting ahead of where I was at while I'm doing this. Because, like I said, I, this is going to be a city. This is going to go... <laughs> to be honest, I mean, if they add deer, I don't think they will. Because people will expect them to add something like venison, which would make sense. But they're not going to do that. Because they don't want you to have, like, a worthwhile drop if it dies. Again... The whole, they'd rather you torture the animal, because that's more humane. Like... It, it's weird. I, I still go with that one. They don't do certain things because, oh, well, but kids will do this, but... But it's like, the things they put in, it's like, but if a kid did that, that'd be so much worse. And you can't just say, well, they can't get their hands on it, because you never know what a kid's going to get their hands on. So, you know. Alright. Mm. But, yeah, they're not going to add reindeer that can fly and on two fronts, too, because they'd also be like, Pobble. kids will think you can ride a, 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 a reindeer, and they'll be like, no, they won't. And if they do, they already thought that. So this isn't going to change their, maybe what leads into that opinion. It's it's just going to be a thing. Don't even reinforce the belief. So that's where I'd go with it. They're not going to add it as a creature that can fly because, well, they're, they're, they truly are like, well, kids are stupid. Opinion. Um, what do you mean? Yes, kids are stupid. Um, well, but see, that's an older feature. See, I, I don't think they would add that today for running pigs. So, I mean, it's not really a good example, now, is it? Yeah, I thought I heard that. But that's that whole... I mean, it's, it's, it's the same kind of argument, though. Who's going to feed a frog a firefly? Really? They can go, well, but kids are stupid. But at the same time, it's like, yes, kids are stupid, but... They're not that stupid. Or you can throw something in there that can, if you really have to, to you a teaching mode. I don't think you really should, but and it's the same question. The whole, who's going to have access to a parrot to feed a cookie to, a chocolate chip cookie, right?
But that's the logic they go by, but, but, but a kid could do it. Um, rather than looking at the reality of, can they really, and if they can, how can you be sure they won't do it anyway? And instead, your role you're really doing is, like, causing some, like, about the parrot thing, like, causing some kid to be, like, they see, like, an adult feeding up their parrot a uh, cracker, and then they, they, they associate it, and just like, it's gonna die, even though obviously it's, it's meant to be a chocolate chip cookie, but see, it doesn't specify that it's a chocolate chip cookie, because they don't have more types of cookies. So, yeah. Well, chocolate is bad for animals, for many types of animals, right? Probably due to just the different types of um, chemicals in them. Well, not chemicals. Um, minerals and stuff. Some of them are it, it'd be in the the amounts and stuff. But I mean, at the same time, it's like at least they added it to the game and were realistic enough to go well. I mean, it's there, but the problem is, like I said, then you have the whole kid sees, and, and the problem is it's not specifically saying chocolate chip cookie, because there's not other types of cookies. This is part of where I think a farming and food update would be good. You could have a plain cookie or cracker and have it, like, you could feed that to a parrot. Maybe you could even breed them with that, but the chocolate chip cookies obviously would kill the parrot because of the chocolate, right? If you really believe that that's the case. Plus, parrots need an ability to be bred. Let's be real. At this point... <laughs> no. I, I think that's a bit... But I, I, I'm more saying along the lines of just... I don't think there's anything inherently bad with having something in there where you go, well, but this is like this. But at the same time... It's still effectively acting under the assumption that, like, a child is going to see a shark in Minecraft and go on and believe that sharks are evil. Like, that's, 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 that's their logic, right? For the whole thing. With the sharks. Whereas you could add them as a neutral mob, you could add it where different types of sharks are different ways. Like, you do have sharks that you, like, you need to be careful of these guys. They really and truly aren't just territorial. Just like with any other animal. Heck, I mean, technically, they're teaching kids the wrong thing with the polar bears because the polar bears aren't highly uh, violent. They're as neutral mob in Minecraft, even though in reality, you really and truly would be killed by a polar bear. Getting any, Not even getting near them, necessarily, because they don't... They, they should be a hostile mob. But again, it's that whole, oh, but what if, it's like, but you sometimes need to understand things like that. But I mean, it's it's like beyond that, though. I mean, oh, uh, one of them has, one of them had thorns, but you know what? I'm fine. All right. And I didn't even get that one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but see, the thing is, even if there is no baby, a polar bear will still be hostile. There, there's a... They are... It's not about if they're hungry, it's not about that they just will... Um... Yeah. Attack. There's a reason for the whole. Uh, if you see a polar bear, uh, you're dead. Either you have you you manage to kill it first, or you you're dead. And I don't think that it's a bad thing to learn that you need to be careful of that, rather than that they'll be neutral unless you hit them. Um, but, like, you can present different sharks in different ways, and it would add life to the ocean. You could add more types of fish. I mean, we have salmon, why not add tuna? 
you know? Add other types of fish. Uh, add more things. And heck, dolphins are not as nice as they are in Minecraft. Again. And it encourages a kid to feel more like... If you're really going to go with the whole... Oh, but what if kids emulate this? Well, and you're teaching kids that it's okay to get near a dolphin. They won't hurt you. They won't... They aren't, um... <clears throat> the things that they are. That's, by their logic, what they're doing. And, and that's kind of where I'm left with. It's like, uh, it's a, either it's teaching them or it's not. Unless, of course, they're trying to teach kids the wrong thing so that kids die. I don't think they're doing that, though. It would be pretty horrible. And unlikely. Nope, I'm saying it's not going to be that, right? I just feel like more likely they just... It's that whole they, they want it to be like, but... but They don't want, um... I guess kids... <sighs> the problem is that Minecraft is... Either they have to acknowledge it's a fantasy world or it's not. Um... And technically, I mean, if you're really gonna go by that logic... That they go by, they're they're putting an inherent fear of spiders into kids, right? Which spiders are good for the are because they they take care of pets and the like. I don't know. It, it's just one of those things that to me I think is weird and. Not really thought through in the slightest. Because, let's be real, the frog is more likely not to die from a fire eating a firefly by accident than it is to die by being fed fire. By that logic. Because that's effectively uh, what you're doing when you feed them a magma slime. Or magma cube. And well, yes, kids can't necessarily get their hands on magma. They can get their hands on hot items. And, depending, fire. I mean... Yeah. Uh, that's kind of where I, I end up left with it, is the whole thing. Alright. You know, we'll do it from this side this time. Um... Because we have plenty of blocks this time, so it should be a lot easier to do this. Alright. There we go. Yep, thousand degree enough. Yep. Uh, I'm I'm just saying it's like it's poor logic. For the defense. And it just doesn't help.
It just makes them look like... Yeah. All right. Pretty far along. Hey, I can see the other side finally. Um, that's good. Woo. Um, gonna probably move this over a little bit. Do like here. I think that'll help. Yeah. I mean, it's not perfect, but it does. And there we go. And then we have one stack left. Or two, I guess. Oh, we have plenty. Okay, we have plenty. Let me just... Pull this out. Hope that I make it to the, uh, the other side here. Before I fully... Run out of blocks, because then that means I can finish this. Alright, I think I'm done. Basically, once I finish the... I hope I didn't. Um, I don't know how I would. I don't have the uh, magical abilities to do things like that, but... Uh, could be the music. Whoopsie daisy. I'm glad I have extra. I think. I hope. I should. There. Alright, um, and then I think this is fully just done. Yeah, okay, we're good. Look at that, a fully paved way both ways. So, nothing's gonna spawn. We're just gonna have the fun time. And, well, not fun, but it'll take the frog. We could take the frogs over. I suppose now we can take both of them together. Maybe not both of those guys. Those guys will probably remain as they are, but. Yeah. So, you take the frog here. I'll probably finish fixing this up and all that. Um, and then I'll have to get the frogs this way. And let's start paving this one as well. It's not as far, but it's still kind of far, so it's just not fun. And I cannot take them the whole way. Unfortunately, but it will do what I need to. Uh, but I can show kind of how far we really are from here. And after that, we'll just be good to go. Hey, we actually have it equal. So you can see if I start from here, back here, right? Mm -hmm. Probably want to actually adjust this a little bit. Adding um, a little bit more stopping here. Because again, I don't want to like just fly off into the, the, the one of blue yonder. Um... I mean, it's a similar length, actually. Ow. And I'll probably want to put some here as well to adjust the turn. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> yeah. I mean, I'm not done here.
Yeah, well, to be more exact, it's a great highway to the Basalt Delta, which is gonna end here, because uh, I have to walk them from this point. Because there's a Soul Sand Valley beneath me. And then you can take the same exact, um... This. This one's a little less, uh... And it's completed, basically, because it doesn't require as much, but... Then you're here, and you're finally at the Basalt, De Basalt Delta to have the ability... ...to get magma slot cubes. Um, and obviously also... ...other things. But we're gonna pretend we don't know we're here, um, for the moment. Because most of the, like, you can see here, well, I've blocked it off. Um, that is a more soul sand valley. And I don't really think there's anything that's really, um... <sighs> yeah. But this is a place I can make a bit of a room in and all that, and it's a decent spot. That's why it's here. Yeah. I won't deny that was probably the case. With a place like this. I probably should learn how to make a frog light farm. And yeah, I've got this area over here starting to be cleared out as well. I haven't decided where I want to put it. I, I might put it over here just because it's a little bit safer. But I also want to make the other area a little bit safer as well. So, yeah. A much flatter, safer walk across. And, um, yeah. But that's sure as heck not this. Um, but as you can see, this is where the frogs will eventually go. Um... But yeah, it's it's really not that safe at all. Alright. Let's grab these. We can just kind of remove this as well, I think. And just flatten it out a little. I just don't know how flat I want it to be. And beyond that, I don't know if I want to... How the farm... Uh, and have it work. I mean, obviously we could just have some, some guys just spawn here, but... Well, they're not spawning right now, but... And I'm not sure why... Um... So I did hear gas, and it could be that. Um... I just didn't want to deal with any, um, I didn't want to deal with any gas or anything, so, yeah. But, like I said, I don't know why they aren't spawning. I don't think there's, like, any skeletons over there, mind you, but... Yeah. We'll figure it out later.
and I probably will just clear it downward and get myself some ladders. Oh, hi. Don't think I am. No. Oh yeah, and then I had to block this off because this is a cave. I still have no lights on me, so it's not... Very close, we go back through. So you can just see. Um Yeah. But that's the other side. And then we slide on through. See, I mean it works, because if you add a little bit of that to it, alright. But, um, yeah, if I had a mini-map, you'd see there's a huge area out there of, um, Soul Sand Valley. I'm just going to clear this out a little bit, because I might as well. When I know where I'm at, basically. I mean, it's not as best bedrock where it's a like guessing to just spot all the time, and I'm just like, how? Is this even possible? Yeah, we'll, we'll just go a bit of a distance out, right? And then that'll go all the way... to a distance. I don't know how far I want to go. See that there? Yeah. See, we can fix this up though. We can make it work. I'm also going to come down here and just fix that up as well, because I, 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 I need it for the turn. Here to kind of just have, I think, here, 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 and here. That way, when you get to this spot, it's easier to turn around, because our turn... And then you can just go through. Um, so we're just gonna get to the edge of this. We'll come back for the blocks because we're, we're gonna travel back the distance, but. Um, I think... Well, yeah, and you can see I tried going this way, too. It just didn't work out. Um...
And then that just makes this easier to turn here, and then we can just go straight. Bud. And then we get reminded why we can't go just straight through with these guys, yep. Nice. I keep trying to jump even though I- and, and I do believe this goes another direction to something else I need. Um, I don't remember what it is though. Um, uh, the thing is, I'm sure there's probably another Basalt Delta somewhere around here, but... Um... Well... Yeah, another rock's not the best. Oh yeah, that's right. My one and only, um, my, my blue shroom forest, really, that I can easily find. I mean, another rock's not the best, I'll give you that, but I like another brick. Which I'm sure you know is expensive. When it comes to uh, making, effectively, as far as Netherrack is concerned. So, for me, I'm just collecting material to utilize to make um, bricks. Alright, let's zoom. Then we can just turn. Yeah. That's pretty good. I think that's enough of a turn. I mean, it's, it's, it still basically stops you in your track, but it's enough to kind of just slow you down. And I don't care about, like, trying to have it, like, be more racy or anything. I, I just think it needs a little bit of... Alright. Um... We're just trying... Kinda. Alright. Yeah. To here. And we're just gonna kinda go down. Like so. I don't know. Yeah. The time when insta mining is not the best. There I go. And then uh, here. I could probably actually bring this up one as well. Which would probably help a lot as well, and then we could have like stairs in. Um, uh, just to make my life a little bit easier, but I think there's... I'm gonna guess there's a reason I haven't done that yet. Which is called gas. But, yeah, I do think at this point I kinda... ...do... And then from here, it's a lot easier to go through. You can see that here. Uh, this just keeps us safer from gas, but beyond that, um... Yeah. But like I said, I might bring this up a little bit and then add in some stairs to make that a little bit faster as well. Just, just this whole thing, I think, is about adding a little comfort slice. It was just like a little... Bit of ease in traveling. Yeah. I think that's what I'm going for. There's ease of comfort in traveling around in these places, because it's it's very 
Otherwise, it is very much a um, frustrating travel. The distance and everything. Oh, I mean, the sun's getting close to setting, but it's not there yet. But yeah, I mean, that, that's part of it. It's just, it's... My goal really and truly is to just... Make it so that I can travel around with ease. And not have to... Hmm... And I know I could do things, like, I could probably learn how to do the whole thing with the nether roof and all that. And punching holes through, and I, I know I can. I just don't... wanna. Alright, I've hit that. Gonna let that do its thing. While we wait, we're gonna go cut down some more trees. Although, am I actually at the point where they're too far away? I think they might be. So maybe I start removing dirt. Because it's all gonna be on this level because it's a city, right? Um, well, I mean. I know cities are not always all on the same level, because, you know, you get the dips and all that, but... Um... If you think about it, like, if you try to design a town to some extent, especially if it's effectively being more set up and all that after a major thing and all that, you would want to have... I don't know about that. You know, if, I do wish they would add, like, a golem like that, actually, yeah. Where you can give it a shovel. <laughs> and it'll dig. Like, instead of it being able to climb up, if it's dirt, it just goes straight through. Dropping dirt. You know? I mean, I'd love that. That'd be cool. And then all you'd necessarily you could like I mean I know it well actually it would not make TNT any less because it would only be dirt, wouldn't it? But I mean if you have golems for doing that and some of the other ones like every other golem they've they've presented in the, the different things has been kinda like basically it's it's nice aesthetically, but there's nothing else to it. Or it could be considered like a little butler, like the tough golem would have been. A little kind of like, except not really exact, but I don't know. I feel like you should have the, the if, if you have golems for, even as a potential for like, just like carrying items around and for protection and whatever. I don't know. I feel like they, it would make some sense to um, have some that would do harder work, like uh, dig. Then you don't... Uh, uh, here's what I would say. It doesn't have to be something that you can just make off the bat, also. And obviously it would have its upsides and downsides, like... Well... You know, if it works like basic... If it effectively works like a um, bulldozer. It would only be able to go like this, right? And it would just keep going. Although I'd probably do it more like that. Unless it hits something made of stone. It'd probably be useless. It'd be gimmicky. It'd be as, as everything else. But I just... I don't know. It'd at least add a golem type that's different. And would fit into the world, I think, nicely. Heck, you could even have it be another variant of Golem you can maybe find, depending. I 
Well, I mean, but see, that's not exactly what I'm saying. I'm saying we have attack golems, right? Or guardian golems. Whether or not they work well or not, they exist. And while they don't exist, there was the potential for items that would effectively work as... Well, they know just carry something around for you. So what I'm saying is I feel like... Oh, wow. There was actually a chicken in that one. <laughs> is... I feel like we're missing golems that would fit. And obviously, we we really are. I, I would say the tough golem or copper golem would be something to bring in. Just, just, just for more life and stuff that you can add yourself. Kind of thing. But I feel like with that kind of proposed idea, you'd also then have golems that would... Um, the, copper the copper one was supposed to randomly push a button. It had a chance of pushing copper buttons. That would also have been added to the game. Obviously they didn't add it, but... Or the buttons, but... Because it didn't win. Uh, the alley won. But... Effectively, it would... And I mean, it wouldn't have revolutionized anything, but again, and if it, um, it would oxidize as well, so it would eventually be unable to move because it'd be too oxidized. <clears throat> Was the idea. Hello, Knight. How you doing? Right. Oh, of course. I'm glad to hear you're doing good. Alrighty. Whew. Alrighty. Um, but yeah. As I was saying, I, I don't know. I, I was just spitballing things that I think could be interesting. I, I mean, I don't feel like I see too often in modded stuff, you know? I'm right, going okay. We've been wor I've been working on the nether pro tunnel project. Getting that all finished up, and then... Now I'm going to work on the other one and get that one done up. So, yeah, I'm trying to kind of get some of those projects done. Well, I don't know about... But yeah, I just... Yeah. Uh, all I was saying is I'd, I'd love to see, like, a golem type that they could add that would dig. I mean, yes, I'm thinking about it because I'm digging right now, but, like... Yeah. Mm-hmm. to do just gonna keep filling these in yeah i mean they were already thinking like that was like I, I was thinking of about it because it's like you know the copper golem and the tough golem 
although they weren't added there, they would not have been combat oriented, right? They would have been like item. Uh, they'd be something to carry around items and the like. So I was just thinking about it, and like I, I feel like it would actually make sense if that is within their their concept of what they think of with the golems. So the the idea that you might also have. Well, they weren't added because they were a mob vote mob. They lost to the alley, but they were a potential um, mob from that mob vote. Yeah. Instead, we got the Alledge. I mean, it's it's decent. It, I, none of them would have been great. Let me be clear. That was the biggest issue with the that one. The Alledge just seemed like the least bad of the bunch. Plus, it was like, oh, you know, you could do this. Because basically, all it would do would be randomly pushing buttons. Which, I mean, well, it could be useful, and it would also be... I'm just explaining what the, the logic would have been behind it, but... For those that, but beyond that, the fact is it was a potential idea, right? That's more what I'm saying. So, if we go by that logic... Then, in theory, you could have non-combat golems being an option. Very much akin to that, but maybe doing something more useful, like digging. What I was saying is, basically, what I, I, I just as a concept, I was thinking of it, because I was trying to not think of something I've seen like with mods. But most people, they just make more combat golems. But the idea would be, uh, kind of like the snow golem, obviously it just kind of goes willy-nilly wherever, right? But the difference is, when it comes across dirt blocks, it doesn't go up. Also, with stone blocks, it can't go up either. It can't, like, climb blocks. A slime golem could be cool, too. But what I was saying is, basically, like, so it would move... Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, it would be, it wouldn't be able to climb blocks, and it would just dig, it would basically dig whatever blocks in front of it if it's dirt. But if it hits, like, a stone block, because it can't dig, it would basically just kind of stop there. Like that. Yeah. And, I mean, it wouldn't be the most useful thing in the world. It'd be kind of gimmicky, but... Like, I'm trying to think within their logic. As well, so... Let's say you have a big digging project that you need to do, instead of maybe going and digging on my hand or getting out the TNT, you could set up... Yeah, you could do that. Or you can let it just go do whatever it wants, but then you don't know what it's going to dig up, basically. Like, instead of, like, if you wanted to dig, let's say you had some blocks here, right? Instead of, it, it might go over here and come dig these blocks instead. If you don't give it, like, a little wall. So then it's not, like, super OP or anything. It simply is a potential alternative to TNT, but it's not that it would make TNT because defunct either, you know, like again, following their idea. Because obviously with the stone, then you would have to dig that out yourself once you hit that point. Or get TNT. Yeah, you could set up stairs. Or half slabs, those would work. The whole idea though is basically it cannot uh, just effectively jump. Because, see, you don't actually naturally run up blocks that are full blocks. You jump over them. 
So the idea is it just simply cannot jump. Perhaps because it's so heavy. Pushing things forward would be the idea. And that cannot lift itself up or it uses wheels or something. Yeah. So that's what I was saying. I'm like thinking about it and trying to think of how it would be implemented, not in a... Um, but in, like, in a way, I could actually see them being able to make it work. So AI-wise, it'd be more like a snow golem. And the way it moves around and does things. Um, and you could even make it that because it weighs as much as it does, it... Like, if you're, that would be your reason for it not being able to jump, that it will sink in water or something. Oh, there's a drown. Along those lines. I'm not saying you have to, mind you. Um. But yeah. Like, I'm trying to think about it in a manner that it would make sense to do it. Yeah, I heard you pop. That's the logic, basically. And you can even have it be the something that you have to use more end game. Like, maybe it's an Enderstone Golem or something. And, heck, you could even set it up that... Like, I, this is where things would get too complicated, probably. But, I mean, they could even have it set up where it's like you can choose whether it can destroy dirt or stone or whatever as well. But obviously it can only destroy that one type of thing, so if it hits anything else, it just stops. A bit like an auto miner, maybe. And obviously it can't do things like silk touch. But that, that's where I'm thinking around it and trying to think of like ideas, ideally. It would work and make sense. With that, um... And the thing is, it would actually fit into the world quite nicely because obviously if villagers can make guardi like those golems up there, right? And in theory, even though they don't exist in the game, they might come to exist in the game, which would be nice as well, but the tough and the copper golems could have existed in the first place at all, right? As a non-combat, just kind of decorational mostly, but it, it, it does things. Um... Honestly, I, I, I think it really could have work. Or it could work. And just a nice, easy sort of... What are you doing, cat? Away. Cat, away. This isn't for you. You have your own food. I fed you like... Wait. Down. No. And see, this is why I said the thing with the hand would not work. I literally had to use two hands to make him get down. Because he just did everything in his power not to get pushed down. But that, uh, yeah. I mean, that, that, that's what I was thinking, though. I mean, as I said, as always... I mean, you can tell me I'm crazy. It's fine. I just, at this point, I'm left with, like... Because I don't think they're going to do something like an end update or anything like that. I, I really don't. I don't think they want to. What fits within kind of their... What they are doing. No, I, I was saying earlier, also, I honestly do think they just kind of need to maybe step back from structures unless they're remaking them. I think that's the big thing I've noticed. Like, so much of their updates are just... But see, that wouldn't be something that would be milking the game. I mean, that would be something that would 
not be used in any mods or really any add-ons or anything like that. It's its own thing. That's why I came up with Gones. Um, but I was saying, I feel like they need to stop trying to make new structures, because that's the thing. They're so busy focusing on these new structures that you only are going to go to, like, two or three times. Max. I mean, and I'll give you the trial chambers. Like, you're going to go till you... If, if you want a heavy core, you're going to go till you get... Uh... I don't think it's about... To be honest, I don't think so. I don't think it's about Microsoft. Considering they complained about the Nether update after the fact, and that's part of why they they, they, they haven't done it, they, they, they were all burned out afterward and stuff, and it's just... I honestly think they just don't want to do a huge overhaul of anything like that. Because it's so much work. I like... I, I, I honestly don't think that's... Heck, I would argue it's probably the opposite. Microsoft would want them to do something like a big end update, because it'll bring a lot of people there and think, ooh, I could do this for making add-ons or whatever, right? Meaning more money, in theory. Something like that would be the big... Th that's a big draw to draw people in and be snookered, if you will. Into wanting to do, into getting things from the marketplace or whatever, or buying the game. Smaller updates, like the trial chambers and stuff, are not as likely to bring in new people. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, the structures, I think that's the weakest link. But the problem is they're making it such a big part of their updates. That then their updates are basically a one and done. The ancient city, you go to two or three, you get all the things you need. If you go to more again, it's because you want something specific, but you're not there for the city at that point. Heck. Uh, on Java, you can literally make a thing that you could turn the warden off, basically. In vanilla Java. So, um... Yeah. A lot of, like, people can literally just do that and just keep going. All fun and game. So, I'm sure it's not intended, it's a bug, but still. I mean, the structure isn't the part people are going there for. They're not gonna admire your structure. And as I said, when's the last time you heard somebody actually talk about Trail Ruin? Really and truly. Because that was their structure there. I mean, there wasn't as much focus on it, but they they did add it. And there was clearly was quite a bit of thought put into it and everything, so... But again, it just... It's a one and done. You go there, you give what you want, you're gone. And now the trial chambers. Literally, it's in, once you've got everything you want, there's no reason to ever go to another trial chambers again. Yes, you can go, but there's all that copper, but that shouldn't be the reason to go to a structure. Especially with how much effort they've put into every room and everything to make it look nice and everything. It's just... I would think it'd feel very disheartening. <laughs> The only reason somebody's going to go to the, the, the thing is, like, well, because they need more copper, or they, they want a heavy core or something, and then they, they don't go back. And considering the amount of work it is to take it, they're not even going to, people are probably not even going to go for the copper. They're just going to be like, well, I can just make the copper myself. It's kind of convenient, but it's not important, really. So, I don't know. I, like I said, I just think that they probably should just maybe not focus on the structure. Just with everything. Again, people can tell me I'm wrong, I'm crazy, and that's fine. Completely and totally. I'm not... upset by that. But yeah, no. I mean, I, I am serious. I would... 
be more likely to believe that Microsoft would want them to do something big and bold and all these different things because, yes, it's less things to sell, you can say, but at the same time, I mean, you'd be, you, you sell the, the game, right? And then people are snookered into going and uh, drawing different things, if you will. And it's not like, even if they did a whole big end update, it wouldn't add that much to the game, so they could still perfectly fine have, um... <sighs> Thanks. But, I'm more saying, just along the lines of, it's... I'm not saying the big bad, in, no, the end dimension night. <laughs> I think you've misunderstood. I'm talking about the end dimension. Um, you know, where you go fight the dragon and you get your elytra and then you never go back. that. <laughs> ah. Like I said, all I, all I was saying is that they, 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 they don't want to update the end dimension. Just like they don't want to update the I mean, just like the, cause the other, like I said, it's, it's just, it was a lot of work. I don't think it'd be the Microsoft side, because honestly, that's something big enough for people to come back or to try out. Much like the Nether update. Um, honestly did. Because it was such a big change. Um, that's what I meant. <laughs> Clearly. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I don't think they're, they're going to add an ending to the game. I, I just was saying they don't want to change up a dimension that they've... It could probably actually use a bit of an update. And has been pretty much what anyone and everyone has talked about the last several years. Like, if we're being honest here, this is the thing that everyone kind of wants. And it's not because they want, like, an ending to the game or anything like that. They just are left going since... You continue playing the game afterward, there should be at least something to see there. And it's true, it really should have more to it than just... Well, it's big and it's empty. And you occasionally find a structure. <laughs> yeah, whereas I was talking about... The, um, just simply put the end dimension. Needing an update. I want a lot's what a lot of people want. That's why I, I referenced the nether. That. And. I don't see that. It's also why I don't see them adding a new dimension. It was so much work. And that's their line. It was so difficult. That. I don't see them doing it again. Because they didn't like that. And they don't do things they don't like anymore. That's the thing. That's the problem. 
dedicating time to just it's, it's like well I don't it's like the, it's that whole if you don't want to do it okay but if it is kind of getting to the point where it's unnecessary it's it becomes a question of less of like yeah anyway point being all I was talking about is that the end dimension is definitely one of those ones that could use an update. Honestly. I'm still shooting a little bit too much. I'm gonna add one more. But it's it's just how it goes. That yeah. Um But it's the kind of thing where it's like that would be appropriate for this this one, this update. I mean for the update for the the, 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 the fifteenth anniversary. Or the one that they're gonna announce for it, but they they already had their 15th anniversary, and what they basically did was they did a new structure that everybody's going to forget in, like, six months. Even existed. I mean, it says a lot. But maybe that's what they wanted to count for this year. Uh, yeah. But it is odd. But beyond that, like I said, that's where I start thinking, so what would they actually probably do? And then my actual real answer is they're probably going to do a structure again. Probably not going to be a structure update. They're just going to um, add another new structure again that basically does nothing again. Has some cool pieces of loot. But then once you have the loot, you're not really going to... ever go back. So, yeah. But that I say that because it's like, that's that's what they've done. And that's what I was saying, they kind of need to just cool it on the structures a little bit. Because they just, especially structures that you cannot find unless you dig out Figure out the dirt and all that, right? Or have to get a map to find it because it's again underground. The idea of something that you can just find wandering around feels more like the whole exploration thing rather than grind. Um, yeah. Like, Woodland Mansion. I mean, Woodland Mansion could use an update, let's be real. It's nice for what it was, but it does need one. And again, that's where I kind of go with, it's like, the last time they updated any structures was the village and... Uh, pillage update, but they still added a structure to that called oh, the pillager tower Ironically, it's useful but not because And they basically got rid of its use now, but you know, I mean not the point but Yeah Still. Hmm. 
I don't know. And as I've said, I mean, maybe I'm just crazy. But I, I just, I, I'm left with it's like with all the things that need updating or renovate. Basically, just I, I feel like either they need to do something big or they need to do something that's kind of just been necessary for a while. Or they need to put their money where their mouth is, at the very least. Well, I don't like the vaults due to their nature. Alrighty. And that's fine. I meant for my take on this. But... Yeah. Hello, Penny. All right. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. No loiterers. Except for this chicken. This chicken can loiter. Oh, I think I just brought the chicken with me. Um, I guess. Although I didn't. How did I miss the ch how, how did the chicken manage to not fall in the boat? I'm just kind of trying to set up the ice roads. That I need to to force some frogs into eating uh literal magma. So that I can get lights of the color that I want. The chicken crazy? I mean, I guess. Or crazy chicken, rather. But yeah, my, my, my hot take is I think that they should not do, um, structures. That was my crazy and insane hot take for the next update, what I think they should do. Or at the very least... Mm, but it's not the big thing is the structure. And that's that. Uh, going back to what I think they could do, what I'd love to see, like I said, the golems thing. I, I, I think that they could come up with all sorts of different kinds of golems they could go with. Kind of... Um, they could technically be useful. Not really. I'm just saying for an interesting, um, update that doesn't just kind of do what it... Kind of... The whole just like, ugh. I'm trying to think of how to put this. I, I honestly just think it's the part that you're not going to, like, go back to over and over. Other than, like, once per, like, if you start a new world. Get you need, get out. So instead, they, they should focus on things that are more... Whether you like it or not, you're going to go across, come across. That could even be a structure, I guess. But it's like, it, I, if they're going to make another new structure, I do think it's got to be an overworld structure. That is actually on top of the, the the world and not underground honestly 
That, that, that's what I, uh, that's my other hot take. Uh, that is my, my full hot take. Like, if they're gonna do a structure, uh, uh, honestly, uh, like, I think they, they should not do a structure. But then if they do do one, it shouldn't be underground again. Because they just aren't, you're not gonna come across them. Unless you go out of the way to go find them. Which feels like the, 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 the opposite of exploration. I mean, you're, you're, you're instead basically targeting what you want, getting in, getting out. You're, you're not exploring to find it or anything. You're just in and out. Whereas, like, with past structures, even the Woodland Mansion, if you are lucky or unlucky to, enough to come across it, part of why it works is that you're going to be, like, going in there, right? It's like, it's right there. You came across it. You might as well. Um... But yeah, like I said, that that that's my my insane hot take on what I think. And other than that, I, I think I'd love to see a, a, a new golem type. Or jungle. Yeah, jungles could be cool. You could add something jungle. Terrific. Um, I mean, let's be real, most of the biomes haven't been updated in a similar length of time, if not, um, longer. A full biome update would be cool, but they're not gonna do that either, because again, it goes right back to that whole issue they had with the nether, it was too much work. And I, I'm not saying this because they're lazy, let me be clear. I think it's probably too much work because they're trying to effectively overthink everything. Like, oh, but what if this part of the da da this or da 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 that? Well, then it's just realistically going, well, if this does this, it does this. Simply put, no matter what, if it's like this in the overworld, you can either say it's the same or it's opposite. And that, that, that's... Ah, uh, but actually, technically, it's a sub-biome of its own. Bamboo does not appear in normal jungles. <laughs> but technically, it is correct. So, uh, yeah. It's simply partially true that... They have an update. How did that work? But at the same time, it is... Yeah. I mean, the big issue is it's, that's just it. The swamps haven't actually been updated either, although technically now I guess you can find a bog, but that's not really an update now, is it? Um, they just added a new biome that's a sub-adjacent to the, the swamp, but it's not the swamp itself. And that's kind of what they always do instead. It's that whole, it's like they won't update And, I mean, a biome. I mean, hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can find a normal jungles, but I haven't seen it, so it's usually the bamboo forest. But, I mean, that's just it. it uh, when was the witch hut added to the swamp? Probably with the witch. And I was more saying that the, the... Let me be clear. I wasn't actually saying that they haven't ever added anything ever. I was just saying it's been so long since any biome has gotten a not proper update. 
Uh, Dark Oak Force, the last time they got any added updates would have been 1.9, which would have been with the, um, the Woodland Mansion. Uh, the Desert, the last update it got, I believe, other than, unless you count Desert Villages, which I don't know if I do because it technically isn't the desert itself, it's the village. Would have been when they added Husks in 1.10. Um, I guess technically they added a camel, but again, they didn't actually add the camel to the desert. See, that's the thing. They added it to the, the village. It's like, I can go, well, yes, they add, but then it's like, but wait, no, they didn't. It's, that's where it becomes like, hmm. But since I'm pretty sure witch huts would have been pre, um... 1.14. I don't know exactly which update, but... Yeah. They don't really update at all anymore. And even when they did in the past, it was just a kinda. Like, they added a new mob. But if they're actually adding anything, like, new, significant, like, building-wise... I mean, I've seen them, I just, I know they're supposed to be more common, but I just don't see them more commonly in swamps. It's probably because they're supposed to be like around a witch hut, but it, it's just, that means, technically, it's not a mob, yeah. It's that whole thing, it's like, has the biome actually been updated, or did they just add a new biome type that's considered a sub-biome? And I'm not actually sure if they've done it at all. Which is, if I'm being really honest. Yep. Um, what I was going to say is, if I'm being really, really, really honest, I think... I mean, the, the irony is, they, they did this, this huge overhaul for 1.18. The one thing they didn't actually do was overhaul any biomes, they just overhauled the world height. And then that was that. And um, again, I'm not saying this as a bad thing necessarily, completely. And I'm not saying this as a, oh, they're being lazy. I'm saying this as a, the problem I would argue is much more likely to be that they just overthink everything. And... Like the parrots in the cookie thing, you know? Or the frogs and the fireflies learning, oh, oh, but frogs might, like, certain types of frogs might die if they eat certain types of fireflies. It's like, okay. They probably won't, though. The worst, they'll probably get, like, a tummy ache. For a lot of them. Um... Unless you think any frog has been outside on a, a hot summer night, that's that, then there's like some fireflies out there. <laughs> they, they just, they're gonna die of, of poisoning. I mean... Yeah. Hey, can you wanna get in the boat? Come here. Oh, nope, you're just farther away than you were. He's running away. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Mm-hmm. Aha! He's in the boat. I don't know which direction I'm going. Um, nice. Get you out of the tunnel, buddy. Eh. But yeah, like I said, I think the thing I'd like to see... I know. is um golems do i have a lead i do have a lead buddy come here come here oh 
okay. Like I said, I think Starscream has more everything than those bots. There you go, buddy. You just hang out by that fit, that there. You're you're good. You're safe there, away from the um the construction. Anyway, um But yeah. I I, I honestly do think it's just like so much put into <sighs> something it, it I I, I, I really and truly, yeah. I, I, I would, I, I'd rather much rather see just something basic. Like, literally, if they just add, like, two or three golems, I think that would be... Ooh, it's night again. Um, probably a pretty decent update. Get out of materials for them, and then... And I'm sure that there would be people who go, this is just a small update, but I think overall, then they would be much more impactful more along the lines of like the honey update you know you can have a whole lot of bug fixes within the update but there was something like the um or the the, the buzzy bees update rather there was something like a couple of golems in there or something that would just yeah Um, like if they need to do that, you know, it, it feels weirder that they, 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 they're trying to do all these up, these like bug fixes and everything and, and change the entire background of the game. And then what the big thing is, is a structure that just kind of, again, I think it's a cool structure. I just don't think it's going to be all that, uh, relevant within six months. It was only relevant because it was part of the update. Um, has snapshots and stuff. It's just... And I, I'd love to be proven wrong. But... Yeah. Just like I'd love to be proven wrong on them doing any form of biome update. Whether it be... <laughs> um, yeah, it's actually is, although, I don't know, I suppose they may be too afraid, but I think they did Dungeons and Dragons, which is the same company at this point, so, yeah, I don't know why they didn't do magic, although, I mean, if you know, you know. With the uh, magic AI art scandal <laughs> that has been going on in the, there a little bit. But yeah, I mean, they did Dungeons and Dragons, so I don't know. be shocked if they had that backlash with the Dungeons and Dragons thing. I mean, I don't think it did. I never saw anything with it, but and I, I actually do follow some sites that actually do follow those things. Because they used to be into and they're just like covering the downfall of Wizards of the Coast, basically. Not usually, but it's like if something interesting pops up. But, um... They would have covered it, but there was not really anything, so... I guess there was no backlash. But, like I said, considering magic has been... That, that specifically, the magic side of the, the Wizard of the Coast has been caught where they hired an artist who does AI art. Um, straight up. And then there's been a whole backlash with that. They probably are not uh, wanting to 
partner with that game. I could be wrong. I, I, not once, but twice. Well, that was before the, uh, the current debacle. I'm pretty sure. Because, like I said, it's, it's current year. Um... But point being, you wait for that to be dealt with if you're going to do something like that at the very least, because otherwise, if this is coming out kind of thing, you know, you don't want to be called out for, I mean, I don't think it really matters. It's like if they want to do it, they should do it. But considering the time, considering everything else that mo like. Mojang has done um, in regards to how they, they they handle updates and stuff, I, I honestly think they'd just be trying to avoid being cancelled. Which, I mean, that's up to them. That's their thing to do. I don't care. Either way, I probably wouldn't do anything with it. Because I don't do their crossover masks. I don't think they're that interesting. Like, I know some of them are supposed to be really fun, but I'm like, um, I, I, I don't want to spend, like, eight bucks on it. When I'm not necessarily interested in it. And at the same time, I'm not gonna just go and... Uh, pirate it either. I, I, like I said, if I have no interest, I have no interest kind of thing. So that, that, that's my, I'm sure, super controversial take. Um, and like I said, I don't even know because, like, channel I watch for something else entirely covered the, the thing. So I don't think that it would be But it's 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 their whole brand thing too, because they they have they declared this whole thing, they won't do NFTs, they won't do AI, right? Um or they haven't specifically declared that yet, but you know that's the kind of thing they would, and then that would be like would you work with So I, I think that that's the biggest reason they're not gonna do it. Um it... Yeah. That's that's all, and that that's why I was saying it like that. That's it's it's very specifically why I would assume that they wouldn't do it, and they might still. I could be wrong. Wait a minute, there is still a big chicken in there. Now there's not. It tricked me, but it's. Neither here nor there. They, they they could still do it. They could do something else. I mean, I imagine it's also costs a lot of money to do a crossover with Minecraft, which is why you don't see it too often. It's a, unless it's like a big brand kind of thing. For an official hack slash map. Of course, who knows? Maybe that's something they'll reveal this next um. Uh, yeah, the what? Minecraft life. Because I mean, they, they threw other things in the last one, like the Star Wars one, that I don't think was very successful. But they put it in there anyway. Because it's a big brand deal one. Um, and uh, yeah, as I said. Doesn't really affect me, so but that's that's the end of my opinion on that. Um, so should I do more of this on Monday, since Dragon did not pop in today and he wanted me to do a statue, but I didn't 
do the statue because he wasn't here to, to request the statue. I see. Alrighty. Then let's do this on Monday. I can finish the nether project either way, probably. Because it's, it's almost done, and then we can maybe start moving frogs. For real. Um, because I have frogs in several different places. I have frogs up there, I have frogs over there. And then I have the frogs in the desert, and now I'd actually be able to m start moving them over. Although, I guess now I also have to do the actual making of, like, a slime farm, magma slime farm. Means I'm gonna have to go find a tutorial on how to do it. Which is fine. I mean, that's, that's, that's how it works, right? Yes. Alright. Um. Ta -da. But you know, I mean, other than that, like I said, I, I think, well, we'll see whatever they, they, they end up doing for the Minecraft Live. Um, or in the next big update. And like I said, maybe they, they're just because this is their quote unquote 15th year. They'll do something. But, yeah. I, I just honestly think it's highly unlikely. <sighs> Personally. At the same time, I mean, you know, I'm willing the universe to spite me and just be like, prove me wrong. Uh, I'd take that, because it'd be like, hey, at least we got what was desired. Alright. So that's how I feel. Be realistic. I mean, it's the same reason I don't say I hope they do a storage update, because I don't think they're ever going to do a storage update, because I just don't think they want to have to figure things out for that. And all the things that it would require. <laughs> Whether or not, um... It's absolutely necessary. Ironically, I, I think the big Yeah, I need to finish. I need to finish. Um, yeah, either I win, or at the very least, I don't lose. You know? And, I mean, that's why I know it. I, I also know they're not going to do a farming and food update. Again, that would be too complicated to... Uh quote-unquote, balance. And, I mean, that's just it. Like, I, I'm, I'm not... And that's why I say I don't... <laughs> I, I don't think they're lazy. I think they overthink things, because... I mean... If they could do whatever the heck they wanted, we would get things more like the potato update. Because that literally took them, like, two weeks to do, Right? Buggy as heck, all that. Um, and I mean, the only thing to hope is that that means they do want to do an end update. Well, the one thing to I I, I think the, I I know 
it, it's like it could be new in generation, which would be interesting that it's like trying to play. I just kind of hope they bring the, um, <laughs> the, the, the hook shot there that they made. Um, that's what I want out of it. If I'm being honest, <laughs> there was that too, but like, like, I, I just hope they bring the, 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 the hook shot and maybe a way to craft Elytra. Because I feel like those were two things in there that, well, they are certainly added to a lot of mods. Um, the fact that in a, um, April Fools are not, yeah, it's a reason to kill phantoms or have phantoms. But mostly I'm kind of hoping for that, that potato hook shot. I obviously wouldn't be potato, but themed, but I, I, I think that was way more fun overall, especially it would be a reason for me to go want to go get an elytra because of how much it just let me just kind of super zoom everywhere. And I don't have to make like a zillion rockets. I can make one of those and maybe if I like, it'd be nice if I could put mending on it. But beyond that, I, I feel like it'd be an interesting way to try to fly about. It was more appealing to me. But I don't think they're going to necessarily add that, but like, all I'm really saying is I think that's the kind of thing they they would... If they were just doing what they wanted, that's where you would end up with things like that. But it'd be much more buggy. It'd be much more... Because they, they do clean up the update and all that. But it would also be more able to break the game in a way that's fun as well, where you can be... Super OP, or whatever. Like the, the... I mean, with that, that thing, that, the Potato... The vine. As you shoot around. It was a lot easier to just kind of control. I like the potato mobs too, yes. I, I mean, I feel like having more variety of mobs too, I, that was, I mean, I know, yes, they were reskins, but I think the reskins helped kind of fill in the world a little bit better too. Um, so that's what I would say with that. Like... The irony is, I don't think that's what you were su I was supposed to get out of it, but that's what I did get out of it, was... Yeah! This could actually do something. Really cool. And a new spider. Yeah, that too. But... Um, that's, that's where I go with, I'd love to see some of that stuff, but I do think, I don't think they're going to do it, but I, I really do think that if, like, there was anything that was going to, um, fall in line with that whole, what they would want to do if they could do anything they wanted without overthink, like, just trying to make sure it won't be too overpowered or whatever, that is honestly what I think it would be. Which is why I say it's not laziness, it's, simply put, just, they're so focused on trying to keep everything balanced and, and, um, and clean and this and that, which is what makes it hilarious that one of the paintings that they've added, if you, you de, uh, pixelate it, it, it does have a bit of a naughty word. But, you know. But that's on them. Uh, it's one of the new ones. Um, let me see if I can't pull it up, or just... Let me see.
see if I can't make it. I was watching someone else covering on a video and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. That that's their own choices that work there. I mean, maybe they intentionally did it, but I mean, the, the real answer is that they probably don't think. That I mean, a kid's gonna go find the actual drawing, but or the actual painting, but. I don't know, I think we could have more varieties of it. Mm, let's see if we can't pull this up. Not that one. I put this. Uh, I know it's not the... It's, it's a bigger painting, but it's not the biggest painting. Um, I'm trying to remember what the size is. Um, it's been... I, I, I don't know what the size of the new ones are. I think it's like a 3x3 three three is the thing. I don't know if I have a 3x3 three three spot. Um, maybe here? Like here? No. That's the problem. I don't remember what it is. It's a bigger painting. That's a pretty big, cool painting. It's not that one. Uh, not that one. I don't know. We got a lot of new paintings. That's that's the thing. And I don't know how often it's going to pop up. And I don't know what the size is. Other than that it's big. It's not a 2 by 2 I, I really do think it could be a 3 by 3 Um, I'll try and do that a second. But this would be three by three, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's one of these. Nope. Although that one... Uh, maybe it's not. It's one of them. I just don't know which one it is. It's not that. I I know it's a. I see that's the problem. It's like I know it's it's, it's, it's I, let me look this up. Maybe I just I was like really. And also I need to kill these guys because they're distracting. See this is how you know I don't I I learned it from like like watching so they were like what the heck. I still think it's funny, though. Um... Alright, um... Let's see... Just do this, the moves... But basically, uh, it's got the wor uh, a word that rhymes with witch. Let me see if I can't figure out which one it is. Or size-wise. That is a f uh, Perhaps a word that you don't want your kid to repeat. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be obvious because it's super pixelated on the picture, right? Um. Okay. Yeah, I, I was kind of guessing right on the size. It just I couldn't get to work. All right, if I had. Yeah. I don't really care that much, but, uh, what are these? 
this right here. <laughs> I was watching it. I was like, what? The <laughs> yeah. So it's this painting. I'm pretty sure. And then the word is like right here. But obviously you can't see it because it's pixelated. But like, if the kid goes and finds the actual painting, um. Eh. I mean, they've, they've got all kinds of weird paintings. Uh, being really realistic here. But you can tell they don't want you to see this one. <laughs> Look at how like, hard it is to get that one to pop up. Normally it's like, you'll get like the variety as we saw, but for the whole thing, but that one is like, hmm. That's where I go, I don't think they thought about it. But, like I said, it's that whole... I mean, they, they, they rock their brains. They're like, what are you going to do for the nostalgia? So they do that, right? They get the original guy. The original guy. Well, I mean... Makes... I mean, makes art. Well, because they already added it, and they said they were going to add it, and I don't think that the, it's 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 a whole. I mean, well, at the same time, I mean, when you consider some of the other ones, when you know what they actually are, it's it, it, it is, it's the kind of thing where it's like, I mean, yes, they're pixelated, but the when the original does exist online, but I don't think they think about it. I, it's more like, I would guess, like, after the fact, somebody finds out, they point and they're like, hey. Yeah. But the point is, it's like, they could have done anything with the paintings, right? They could have hired, like, four or five different people. They hired two. One was the original, and they hired another person who did the other art that's okay. And it's its own style, which I think is fine. But it does make it be like, well, then why not just do more of that? Like, you could have, like, four or five different people. And then you can have different styles. Yeah. Yep. A couple of them, I believe, are. But. Like, if that's what they want to go with. But, you know, instead it's like, the way to, to go for that nostalgia to, to... The thing is, I mean, I don't know why not just have like 30 different or have the ability to craft custom paintings. Well, not custom, but like specific ones. You could also have that be something you can do. Well, not just too much money, but they'd already put it out there. I'd been on Java previews, and I'm pretty sure at the point when this started coming out, it was already on... Or there, it had already been on Bedrock previews. It was already coming to Bedrock. It becomes much more of a headache to remove it, because then, you know, the kids are instead going to go, Well, why was that one removed? It's easier to just make it harder to find. Especially since that's one of the, I'd say one of the best ones looking on the whole thing. And there's just not that many that have that, um, size. And they're all new. Personally, I think they should have added the potato artwork as well. I mean, they made it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> but that's just me. Um... Like I said, I think they overthink it, and then they basically shoot themselves in the foot. By worrying too much. The, the fact was, part of what makes the... Other than the fact they're not polished, but part of what makes... Even though a lot of these uh, different things that they, they throw in, it's like they basically are resource packs, right? Like the year before, where you could pick the commands, but you could change any color, the water to any color or whatever. People like that, because it's, it's something interesting. 
I don't think they're going to do that. Um, mostly because they don't want to like connect it to anything or have it like be become theory bait. I mean, think about it. They've said they have their idea, but they don't want other people to, to know. Honestly, I personally think it's simply just put... I, I think that what they're going with, at least at this point, I don't think it's the same as what it was, but it's just... This is a world after an apocalypse of some form. Um... I don't think it's the Minecraft Legends, and I don't think it's the the Minecraft Dungeons either. I think those worlds are connected to each other, because there's things that kind of point towards that, right? But I would guess that this is separate. It's its own thing. Um, either you have been... Uh, it is, and effectively, it becomes the question of what... Now that they've added even more default skins, I would assume the... Um, rather than it just being one or two people, technically, notice what they're... The, the way they have the... And, and you know they have some control over the animations. Obviously, the animations are made by another group. But... What I would say is more likely than not, you'd have either you'd have players already existing, or they show up, or they just kind of mutated into existence, or returned to existence. Heck, like I said, I think the biggest thing though is we're probably a villager. I think that's the thing I'm most convinced of. Whether or not um, it's that we're crazy, or. Um, like magic's involved or something. But when you look at it, villagers actually have abilities akin to players. They just aren't as powerful in that sense, or they work differently. But much like the players, they can actually sleep. They, um, they can create magic items. Um, right? Out of nothing. Like, we require items to make our magic items. They require nothing. Yes, they're lower level enchants, typically, but they, they exist. They are. Um, and then they, they, they can make them, and there's no enchanting. Done. In other words, they have a better grasp on how to use magic than we do. And while they can't skip night or whatever, uh, yeah. But what I'm saying is more along the lines of it's like, they, that would mean, and yes, they can't skip the night, but they can also sleep in the nether. I would argue we're probably outside of time, if you will, or that time does not flow the same for us, if you will, as other... Well, they live with the world, if you will. They follow the laws of physics and everything. We don't. We can... And items that... The... Well, I would guess there would be warrior villagers. They don't really have them in-game and beyond that. We know where they get several of their items, which is through the Wandering Trader, as the Wandering Trader will sell such items to them. Or it doesn't say it necessarily sell it to them, but they definitely buy them when you look at the pricing. Um, such as... As I've said before... Glowstone. The fact is, they clearly buy the glowstone from the wandering trader who buys it from who knows where, but... Or gets it from who knows where, but the, the fact that it goes from emeralds or like two emeralds for the watery trader to four emeralds for a cleric points towards the fact that the cleric buys it and then sells it for twice the price to us unless you save them from a a uh, the zombie infection i guess and it might even be less than that because that they would get it from them that's why they would be willing to sell it for a much lower price if you've cured them 
But that's kind of where I go with it, with the whole thing. It's like, most likely the items they get, gather, or whatever, they would be selling... They either sell to the Wandering Trader, or they get from the Wandering Trader. So, and that's where I think it goes. The Cleric buys gold from us, right? And then they trade the gold with the Wandering Trader to get whatever items they want. And then the Wandering Trader would take that gold and go to the... Oh, speaking of which, he doesn't have it, but... See, he sells Nautilus shells. He sells gunpowder. He's incredible. When you really stop and look at what this guy sells, it just doesn't feel like you need it. It's like, oh, they're useless items. Are they really, though? And as I've said before, you can tell this guy's clearly a nitwit that has uh, gotten his life together one way or another. That's clearly a story element. That's probably why he hides his face. I mean, after all, it's not cold here. Why would he be wearing such clothing? Covering his face, covering his... It's like, that's he's exiled! Woo. I mean, in reality, it's probably because they got inspiration from, like, um... But it, storyline-wise, within the world fits to have him be... Most likely either an exiled or a nitwit that ran off. Became rich, or became a, a merchant, and then... Yeah, because he, heck, he even has two hoods! Look at this! He has two hoods that he's wearing. In other words, this is specifically to cover his face. Except he's wearing two cloaks, literally. See? You've got that, and you've got that, meaning that this is an overcloak of another cloak. Legit hiding his form, hiding his face, hiding his everything. But that also implies that the villagers would recognize one another for who they really are, even if we don't. Which fits, so, like, just in general, with the natural world building kind of thing. And the thing is, you can see, he doesn't have to wear the cloak. He would probably dump, you could drop it with the llama, have them carry it, or whatever. He clearly has clothing on underneath. He doesn't need the cloak, and he doesn't need the scarf. Yep, exactly. And you can't, and the thing is, like I said, you can't say that it's just over that it's that he only has one outfit because he does have clothing on underneath, so he could take off the cloak even though if it's not like that warm. But a nitwit wouldn't want to necessarily refute that they are the nitwit or whatever. And the thing is, there's nothing. It doesn't like make it like, oh. There's a storyline to the games, but it does make it as there is tiny bits of world building in there that's interesting that they just, that most people don't focus on because they just look at, well, he's wearing, I think he'd actually be a Savannah villager, but yeah, they, they just, it's like you just look at the overcoat and go, yeah, that's that. And then you look at his trades and go, eh, this guy has nothing. In reality, it's like, he's gathering he, he's literally grabbing things off of reapers and drowns this guy is an adventurer like nobody's business sells every tree type i mean there you go but my point is within this game yep exactly it leaves it still sandboxy, but it does build up a little bit of world building that does make sense. Things like that, I feel like I love that kind of thing. I mean, I know a lot of people don't like the Wandering Trader, but the only reason I even noticed, like I said, is because I actually use him. I, if I want to get sand, only form of renewable sand is this dude, because he'll sell sand and red sand. He's not right now, but and slime balls and stuff when I can't find what. Um, it's a game that was made ages ago. It doesn't exist anymore because the company that made the game for Mojang went under. 
and bankrupted. Uh, technically, it became a new company, but they no longer had ownership of the game, and then Mojang doesn't have full ownership of the game, so they can't do make decisions on it, so it's stuck in limbo for the rest of forever due to this. Yes, it's a side game stuck in limbo forever after at this point, because... Yeah. I'm not saying this is a negative thing. Well, it kind of is a negative thing. It's more on the sense of... Technically, I'd argue they should have had the the rights to it back, but they don't have the full rights to it because the other company technically had it, but they went bankrupt. So who knows has that has who has those rights to the other half of that game. And it just... It's that kind of thing where I would say, yeah, I understand... Um, like, I feel like there's reasons to have major gripes with that kind of thing. But at the same time, it's just like, I can understand why they can't. Yeah, it is Limbo Abandonware. At its core. Because they can't do anything with it. Even if they wanted to. It wasn't necessarily the biggest success, but it was... A decent success and it you know they would have done something with it when it got popular again because you know the memes and everything like ooh, people started getting into it more later mostly to compare to dungeons <laughs> um well like i said it's i think it's the last one that really was before they kind of started trying to go down that whole um Make it an RPG. It really shouldn't be. At least in my opinion. For what it's worth. Or lack of there. For, but... Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, that's really where I'm at with it, is I think it, it's something that exists. Um, kind of one of those last few games that kind of is before the current, and uh, not so much wanting to, like, play your way, right? Like, now they, they kind of want you to play their way, and it's just like, but there's nothing really... ...enough to it. Um... Like, I, 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 I honestly, it, it, let me be clear, I don't think it's a negative thing, right? That they... Um, I'd hope that people would play a certain way, but at the same time, I do think that the expectation that people would now just follow that when the whole point in the past was that, that you, you do whatever you want, it just, to me, that is... Uh, Not good game design. In the sense of, like, to continue making the game work and be as successful as it can be. Those will not, because they go out of render distance, they cannot actually spawn chickens. Wait. Alright, but yeah. Now that is how I, I, I just, I think... And like I said, it'd be interesting to be proven wrong. It'd be interesting to see something big that really and truly is more along the lines of... Do whatever. I guess, yeah. Um... 
Well, I mean, a lot of servers use that kind of system, so, you know. Like, just, just look at Hypixel and the like as well. It's because otherwise you couldn't keep everyone, like, on a server like that. Um... That's just kind of how it goes. I mean, because that's kind of what they based that off of, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, Hypixel's making their own game at this point, you know? I know, it's been a long time, but it actually makes sense, because uh, game development is not fast. Especially when you're trying to design a world that would be... Uh, it's your own thing, but it is akin to Minecraft. But, I mean, it, as far as I know, it's still coming. And that's why I say, for them and for... Um, I can't remember the name of the... Forge Studios and stuff, I was like, they, they should release the game, like, not long after a Minecraft update, <laughs> both of them. Because it'll be the best time. Because the people will have gotten to, like, like I'd say, like, about one... Uh, two weeks to one month after. Which sounds silly to now, but it's like... Let's people get over their, um... excitement with the update and then just be like but it's all bugged and it's not being fixed immediately see like I said four and then if I ever have one that pops up I can show that they sell it for two at least they do on bedrock I can guarantee this because I've bought it from them many a time purposely because they're cheaper There is. I mean, I think... I think the biggest thing, though, with that is it's more along the lines of it's not that it was too early, it's that they, much like other games of a similar vein, like with Breath of the Wild, kind of, or other Tears of the Kingdom kind of had, and with, um, well, actually Breath of the Wild too, and with Metroid Prime, where they basically start over from the bottom, and it's like, yeah, and you can tell that they, they did start some things over from scratch on even on Tears of the Kingdom, if you, if you really look at it, but... Like, beyond that... They aren't anticipating that, so they'll be thinking, oh, it'll only be like two or three years, which is reasonable. But then it ends up becoming more like five to six years because, well, it wasn't as... Uh, put together as you think it is. It's just how that goes sometimes. Uh, but I do need to finish. I'm gonna get these chickens gone through and then yeah, we got some emeralds here bought. But yeah, I think that that's the real answer. It's less that they weren't... And, and when you look at their the whole thing, they really did do a whole engine redesign at some point. But, all right, I do need to finish. Come chickens. Or do we have them all dead? Oh, they're all dead. They're all dead. There we go. Alrighty, perfect. We'll get there eventually. Alrighty. But yeah, I, I think the real answer is that. Anyway, um, it is late. Early, whatever. But it's been a pleasure having you. I hope to see you again on Monday for some Minecraft, more Minecraft Java as I, yeah, we'll, we'll continue that. We'll try to 
Um, but we'll, we'll try to get the nether project finished and maybe do a few other things. But I hope you have a wonderful day, slash night, slash whatever it is for you. Thank you for popping in. Thank you for sticking around. And, uh, yeah. Bye-bye!